All right, all right. We are starting up. Looks like it is Saturday for some of you. Thank you for waiting an extra 15 minutes there uh, for me to start. I had some work to get done. Um, but we are now set up. Let me just configure my camera before we really get going. But in the meantime, let me know if you can hear me. I am very excited for today's stream. Let's go. Hey, Drayden Zori Gamer. Yeah, thanks for waiting a little bit longer. Sorry about the extra wait. That was my bad. Um, but, you know, sometimes work kind of happens. All right. Um need to get our overhead camera up and going cool and then let's use change to image um, let's grab my use fold and let's see my use RPG. all right Here we go. Let me know if y'all can see me okay. And let me change this picture. This is our watery folding today. That way people can know. And this is, I did ask Mayu if I could use this photo for the thumbnail, then he let me know I can use this photo as well. So. There you go. That's what we are folding today. I think um, let's put it here. I'm not sure if I have the chat log on this stream setup, but maybe we can just make it the whole um, area and then zoom out. And yes, I did. In fact, um, oh, there's a microphone. I did fold the grid and pre crease before the stream started. So no grid stream today. That's all done. No pre creasing at all either. We just get it go straight to collapsing, which is a lot more fun. Um, I got I got the the dirty stuff done early. It's all good. Sweet. Hello, hello. Thank you. Let's say hi to people in chat so far. Um, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly. We got uh, Corelli Alcantar, uh, Drayden Zori Gamer. Uh, Vivian Hark, I'm a big fan. Thank you. Thanks for joining the stream. Welcome, Vivian. Got complex origami models. Hello, hello. And I see Inhydro Rhodes um, gave his membership uh, milestone, I believe. So yeah, thanks for being a member for so long, Nahydra. Uh Thanks for supporting the channel. That is awesome, awesome stuff. And then uh, profile photograph Femi. Um, can't pronounce it. I'm so sorry. Uh, I can't pronounce all that. Is that Carl? I'm not too sure. Uh, but thank you for joining the stream. We got the one and only Jason Bourne. Oh, snap. It's Jason Bourne. Um, good morning or good night. I think we have good morning for some. And it's nighttime for me. Um, and anyone on the East Coast of the United States is going to be at nighttime as well. So you're correct in both responses. Jesse Dean, hello, hello. Thanks for joining the stream. Yeah, sounds good. All right. So today we are going to be folding um, the poser, which is designed by Yuho and Bodo. It was a little design collaboration they had when they were hanging out together. I think maybe it was either in Germany or it was at the Prague Origami Convention. Can't remember. But that's pretty cool that it is a collaboration between um, two really amazing folders. And let me make sure the chat is good. Close out of some windows. So where I live today, it was like 35 degrees out and it um, my air conditioning broke. So my room is like really warm right now and I have a light and my computer, so I'm kind of cooking. So if it looks like I start sweating, I apologize, but I'm gonna try to have my computer be as cool as possible so I don't um, turn myself into a baked baked human. That would not be good. And let's make sure everything else is 
Uh, no extra applications open. Cool, and I think we're ready to fold. I'm excited for the model, yeah. So here is the crease pattern, and this is for the Origami Dan shaping competition, which I had totally forgot about um, up until now. Uh, it's for April, so it was announced earlier this month, but it ends in two days. So we're going to see how far we can go um, in two days so we can submit on time. Uh, so this probably won't be something that can win, but I at least want to do something that's different and fun. Um, and that's kind of the whole point of this model. As you can see, Mayu had a very interesting take. And pretty much everyone's folds are very different. Um, because there's no like set piece on what you're supposed to do. But uh, before we get started, I want to showcase one thing. And that is... Um, this, so this is my new design. It's a battle mage, and I'm planning to teach it at the Origami USA convention this summer. So if any of you are attending that, or anyone who watches this later are attending, you know, be sure, sign up for my class, and you can learn to fold, you know, uh, intermediate level humanoid. But I think it looks pretty good. It's got some pleat details. I, I like the structure I use for the legs. It's a mixed uh, 22 and a half and box pleat design. Um, but the nice thing about it being mixed 22.5 is that you, you don't pre-crease um, like anything. Uh, it may be like uh, one or two things to make it easier, but you can fold it entirely in sequence. Uh, so that's what makes it teachable. And then after the Origami USA convention, I'm going to release the crease pattern and maybe make a tutorial. I'm not sure if people really want a tutorial for this, but at least it's it's so teachable that it would it wouldn't take that long, right? It would maybe be like an hour long tutorial. Um, but depending on how, if I have time, because you might have noticed we are really close to ten thousand subscribers, and ten thousand subscribers means that I'm making the Dragon Plate Armor Assassin tutorial. I had promised that when we hit ten thousand, so that's gonna take quite a long a lot of time to make. Um, so if there's extra time, you know, who knows? Maybe I make the tutorial pretty fast. Um, but be excited for that. What is the paper? Oh, the, um, what paper is? This is double tissue. And this is made by as, and let me actually link the paper, um, so that if you want to take a look. Um, you can get this paper. So let me do that really quick. Uh, paper, paper. Give me one moment. He wanted me to link his profile as well. So let me do that before I forget. Um, where are we? Double tissue. Right here. Okay, hopefully he has the link in his profile. If he doesn't. Um, what else did I fold from this? Did I archive it? Shoot. Uh, owner. We're going to try to find this really quick. If it takes too long, then we're going to start folding and I'll just link his Instagram. But I want to find his uh, Etsy store. Maybe Discord. Uh, there it is. So I'm going to put this in the chat and I am going to put it in the description. So here is the um, link. And 
and this double tissue is really good. Oh, that is the wrong, hold on, that's the wrong leg. Um, I think that's gonna pull you, hopefully that doesn't link a, a message, hold on, one second. Let's undo that first. This is the right link. I don't like that Discord doesn't always let you copy correctly. All right, let me actually do, this is a shorter link. That's better. All right. Um, yeah. All right, and then I missed a bunch of chats, so let me read those as I start collapsing this. So I think we're good now. It's in the description and pinned as a message. So let's see, clean model, sweet, thank you. Gabe, hello Gabe, love the hat. Hats are a pain to design and it looks like it's integrated well. Thank you. Yeah, actually the hat, it's, it's pretty simple and yeah, they are kind of weird to do. So it's not like a full wizard hat, which is why it's like a battle mage. Um, the, the one thing is I, I wanna be able to teach it without having the like wet shape. So if people are using foil, there's like a slight alternate method to do the hat without, you know, um, cause I don't, it won't stay as well with, uh, Kami, but, uh, I, I didn't like this hat either. So I'm going to have to think of a way to do another hat, which is really hard, but you can see that there's a lot of space with this flap to kind of use it for either hair or a hat or some kind of hood. So I'm still drafting what I'm actually going to teach, but at least this is a pretty good, um, example on, you know, what's, what's possible. It's not too difficult, right? It's just a couple of folds to, to make the hat. But, um, and I, I just love that it can stand up on its own too. That's, that's pretty great, right? Okay. But thank you for the compliments. The paper is good. Wanna leak what your next paper topic video is? Yes, so the next paper topic is the um, large, large paper. How do you make paper larger than your cutting board? Um, and what technique do I use? Um, now, this might not be the best technique, but I think it is the most cost effective and like, uh, you know, easy way to do it. Like uh, greatest chance of success um, method. And I'm excited to share that. So I've been treating some large sheets of Wenjo in preparation. And hopefully I can finish that video and it'll come out maybe next week, um, like next Friday, next Saturday. Uh, it, it probably won't take too long because there's not too many topics to talk about. Um, I just had to see if I, when I have time to actually finish filming and editing and include the details I'd like. Tutorial, please. Yeah. Um, the paper. Yeah. So I put the paper in the link. Uh, will you be making origami out of the picture below? Kind of. So that's the same design, but I'm going to be shaping it differently. Uh, and I think you hit one. Oh, goodness. Uh, not one million. Uh, did I hit 10,000? Did we hit it? Oh, snap. Did we actually do it? I am very behind on the chat. Uh, uh, okay, no, we're, we're close, I think. I think we are we're at 999. We're 9993, so we need seven more subscribers. I was going to set up the subscriber live count, but uh, I didn't have time to, to do that, unfortunately. And let's actually turn this a little bit this way so it's even. There we go. Uh, kind of off topic, but almost done with the two-headed dragon. Awesome. Sweet. You will be in time for receiving those crease patterns. Voice, yes. Uh, 10,000. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not popular enough to get a million. Shangnar, what model is that? This is Deposer by Bodo. 
and Yuho for the Origami Dan uh, shaping contest. Very sad. <laughs> Thanks, Omar. Hello, hello. Uh, the paper, yeah, so double tissue with those links. Um, do I have tips on how to design? Uh, uh, my greatest tip would be to first learn how to fold crease patterns from my crease pattern class. And then next is to watch Brandon's or the plant psychologist design courses. Um, and that will give you enough information to just start and try. Um, and from there, you'll just pick up more and more things. And you might not understand everything from those videos at first, but the more you do it, the more you'll understand and the better you will become at designing. Uh, so that's, I think, like one of the easiest ways to start. Um, the other way to start is just free fold random stuff and try to figure out, you know, what you're doing. But I think that's a lot harder, actually. Like it's uh, quicker maybe to, to start since you don't have to watch anything. But to actually learn to design instead of getting lucky in designing, um, that's, that's kind of two different things there. Um, so yeah, watch those videos and gain that understanding. They'll go a long ways. Random question. Uh, do you have an idea if BP Studio is ever going to integrate level shifters? Uh, probably not. If you want to integrate level shifters, the easiest way to do that is to treat level shifters as um, flaps, like one unit flaps. Because as long as you have a one unit pleat, you can level shift and then you just need another one to level shift back. Right, so instead of implementing level shifters, just uh, use one unit, like a pair or a quad of one unit flaps uh, or plan out ridges. Uh, but that probably is harder to think about in BP Studio. And I'm not sure if you can bridge or how easy it is to ridge shift like a Pythag. So if you have Pythags and you're packing, that might not work. Uh, it might, I just, I'm not too sure. Um, speaking of which, there's a Pythag in this one. I'm going to be folding that out. That's kind of cool. Um, I currently use plexiglass and triangle cutting mat method to ensure a square. Nice. Using the cutter mat was warped. So, ooh, yikes. We have whenever it's warped, that's not good. It's good you returned it. Um, there's also the method in the pap last paper video. So from the collaboration. And that method is really good for cutting larger squares out. Um, so I'm actually going to be using that technique to cut out my large, extra large square from the next part of the tutorial. Now I'll be showing that process as well. Um, sad. The paper Garrett. Uh, I'm not sure what Garrett means. Complex origami. Um, what is the paper? I put the link. The link is, is the, what the paper is. That's double tissue. Um, the, the pin message is what the paper is. It's just white double tissue. Um, oh, it's Carl. I hey, hate Carl. Nice. I thought, it, I thought it was you. I had a feeling, um, Shengnar, practice and you'll get better. True. Will the stream be on YouTube after it's finished? Yes, it will be. This one will be saved. Give me your example of an anime origami model. Um, I have a few. Here's my... Favorite one, I think. This one is uh, Crunchyroll Hime. So it's the mascot of the Crunchyroll anime service. And it got recognized by their mascot. Um, and VTuber, who is all the same character. And then this one is Hu Tao. It's not really anime, but it's a anime art style themed video game. Uh, the video game, I think, was made in China, however. So it's kind of a blend of Asian culture there, but pretty neat. Okay, we got my first roll of Wenjo and finally planned to finish the 3.5. Oh, let's go. That is very exciting. Uh, let's see. Do you all want uh, another leak? So I've been designing quite a lot recently actually i've got another design that i haven't shown too many yet i've shown a few so the youtube members have seen it as well as the twitch live streams they've seen it as well uh, but let me know if you all want to check it out and i will leak it 
Okay, so this Pythag, I'm pretty sure this one is a valley fold. This one's a mountain fold. It's been a little while since I've done Pythags, but pretty easy to guess once you have everything pre-creased. I might need to fold the other side. No, I think I got it without folding. So the other side, how I'm collapsing this is I'm leaving all the pleats collapsed, but I'm folding the flaps. So like there's a one unit flap and I'm just folding all the layers together like this. Since the since this is double tissue and it's thin, um, I can do that without it, without worrying about the paper tearing. And that just makes it a little easier to collapse one side at a time. So now we can do the other side of our Pythag, which, um, where's the creases? It is here. I think that's a valley fold actually. So let me see if I can do the same thing here. It's gonna mount and fold at this point. And then this becomes the flap. Like that. So I'm kind of collapsing around the Pythag to sort of do a sequence. Um, it's not really a sequence, but at least it's not uh, parachuted. I have a lot. Yeah, I do have a lot of anime themed uh, origami models. Um, I need double tissue. How much is it? Um, if you want to buy it, you can check the link in the... It's pinned, I think. Can you see the pinned message? If you can't see the pinned message, mm -hmm. Um, let me know and I'll fix it, but that's the paper I'm using and I bought it from that source that person very very good However to make it on your own. It's very cheap So as long as you have like a place you can treat it and some methyl cellulose like the initial investment is the um, you pay some money, but you can make hundreds of sheets right for very very little money uh, anywhere in the world so even for those of you in India I have links on my uh, uh, website that are for Amazon India and they have all the materials or at least the methyl cellulose and the tissue um, that you can go look at and they're pretty cheap too um, so go go check that out and for other continents as well uh, like Southeast Asia uh, I think South America you know uh, other parts of Asia, Europe, it's, it's all there. I think the only region I don't have is Africa, just because I, I don't know many folders who live there, so I haven't been able to uh, learn about those paper sources. Uh, but once I do, I'll probably add those as well. Or if you know any, if anyone in chat or people watching this later know any, please let me know and I can add that. We can help out. So more people find resources and paper and materials. But yeah, if you live um, in the United States, you can go to my paper resources page. You don't have to go to the quiz um, and just find all the stuff there. Cause everything I use is I put it on my website um, just to keep it easy. So I think that that's a very common question I get asked is what paper do I exactly use? And it's anything and everything on that website is what I use. I see it, cool, it's visible, good, good, good. If you can fold a triangle grid, then it's easy. Um, oh, can I design a Lamborghini? You already folded my other car design twice. Oh, thank you. Um, oof, let me think, if I can fold tri I don't think I would do a Lamborghini from a triangle grid. That sounds like it'd be hard. Um, uh, I never understand the hex part of a crease pattern. Oh. That's what you're talking about. Um, so the Pythag, it's um, it's kind of just the sink fold. Um, I have tutorial on it, actually. I folded it in a little bit different way. But um, this one's a little bit more complicated because there's another flap right here. But you just you just treat these as like as if they were the grid lines. So instead of them being 45 degrees, they're offset in whatever angle that is. Uh, but you treat it the same. So there's, you know, a mountain with an inside valley, just kind of like this, a mountain with another valley. 
see the mountain in the inside valley, and then our grid lines that go this way, uh, and then the same thing. So you kind of just have to pay attention uh, to what what's the mountain and valley. So if it's a black and white crease pattern, it might be a little bit hard if you're new, but um, like I didn't have to check the crease pattern because I folded enough of these to get it to work. Um, but yeah, it's they're sometimes confusing, but if you can think of it just like regular flaps, it gets a lot less confusing. Um, and let's do the other side while we're at it. Uh, and designing the Lamborghini. So yeah, cars are difficult to design um, to make them look good. Uh, I believe there's already a Lamborghini design out there, but it's not like a detailed, a fully detailed Lamborghini. A fully de if I were to design a Lamborghini, I'd want it to be fully detailed. Um, so it, it would take me a little too long. So I don't have that on the radar yet, especially with all the tutorials I have to make first. Uh, but who knows? Maybe if Lamborghini wants to sponsor me, uh, then, <laughs> right, then I would have time to make it. Uh, but other than that, I probably won't have time to make Lamborghini, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, vehicles are, are difficult. There is a... Um, just because of how three-dimensional they are, it takes up a lot of space. And then the details, uh, the scaling, isn't like a one to two. So you have to think about what color changes you want, what details you can include, what details you have to skip. Um, there's a lot of challenges there. But... That, that would be really cool to do. Um, yeah, I, even the, the BMW, I, I got paid for that. Um, or actually, I was going to get paid for that because um, BMW was sponsoring it. Uh, so that's why that's why I made that design, <laughs> actually. Um, Gabe, heading to work. Awesome. Good luck with work. Um... Oh, no, you're going to work on the 3.5. Oh, sounds good. Okay, that's fun work. Uh, see you later. And uh, sauce me a random or got me Darren roll. Okay, uh, I'll I'll see if Hifia can do that for you. If I can just add it for you. Um, cool. Vivian, do you know any other origami dudes? I, I know quite a lot. I'm connected with most of the community. And I am very... I volunteered with Origami USA for... Um, you know, some time now. So I think my biggest flex is I get to have meetings, volunteer meetings with Robert Lang. Um, so we, we talk, um, uh, every week essentially. That's, that's, that's kind of a flex, but we're working and volunteering. So it's, it's not like casual chatter, but, um, yeah. So, so we, you know, we know each other at least though. Um, we need more origamis here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Naruto model. I did do a Naruto model. I use paper, but as I am not a millionaire. Yeah. Um, double tissue is cheap. So, you know, you don't have... I'm not a millionaire either. <laughs> I don't think many people here are. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know how many, like, origami millionaires there are. Uh, I wonder. Um, yeah, that's interesting actually. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, save up work, work hard, save up money. You can do paper. I've worked very, very hard over the past couple of years and now I can afford a lot of paper. So it's good stuff. Um, yeah, after I, oh, did I not up? I thought the crease pattern was uploaded. Uh, I might have took it down when I reworked my website, but uh, I believe it was up at a time. If anyone wants to fold it, you can at least just send me a DM and um, I can send it to you. What's my favorite origami model? Uh, good question. Normally it is whatever I am working on at the moment. Um, or, and that's the least of my designs. Um, uh, so at the moment, it is this that I'm working on. This is the leak I mentioned a little earlier. So there's not much to it right now. Uh, but the small hint slash uh, teaser 
spoiler, is there is another copy of this that's done and it's a little different. So you can notice that this one doesn't have a head here. The other one has a head in the right position, but I think um, looking at this, it's gonna be a little confusing what they're actually doing, uh, but it's gonna be more of an artistic and emotional piece rather than like a cool warrior or anything. But it's a neat little color change human. And my favorite part about it is the vibes. Now the YouTube members have seen it already. So like Shang Nara has seen it. Um, some other people have seen it, but I think that's my favorite thing right now, at least that I designed. Um, and I've been working on those pretty hard, but yeah. Robert Lang, yeah. What are your thoughts of origami in the future, like modern complex origami? Um, I think there's going to be more um, origami and fine art. Uh, but it, it really depends on who the people doing the origami and fine art are. I think <laughs> uh, if there's going to be more or if there's only going to be a few. Because um, I think right now we have talent for some. But we also need people who are pushing community to like enable other origamists to join them in that fine art world which is kind of difficult uh, like there's some fine artists that use origami a lot but you don't hear about them much in the community they might be in their local community but you know maybe they're just too busy to be engaging in the larger like online community or international community so you, you don't know about them but other artists in the artist world probably do um, but I, I hope that it can expand more because we need more of both kinds of people, uh, those types of fine artists uh, to, you know, get those big connections in the fine art world, as well as people pushing the community to just grow it in general and share knowledge of how to get into that kind of industry. Um, but right now there's kind of a gap uh, between those two. Um, but I think that's that's one option of where it will go in the future. I think we're going to keep seeing more and more complex stuff and more realistic and different styles and more creative and cute models and stuff like that. Do you know if Chris Conrad sells his designs? Um, I believe he takes commissions um, for the right price. Not sure if he's doing them now, uh, but uh, also I think if, He's in a gallery. You, there might be a price on the gallery that you can purchase them. Yeah, Chris is awesome. Uh, Chris is one of those that uh, very well soon could start breaking into that market. And he's got a, I, I'm sure a lot of you have seen his origami. It's very impressive. It's really, really cool. Um... How do you treat papers? So I have a whole video series on that. I can't explain it in the live stream better than I did in my video. So go watch that video because I did a pretty good job showing that process, um, both for regular treated papers and for double tissue and from some of the best folders in the world on how they do it too. So go watch that series because that's... Um, Got everything you would possibly want for an answer. How to get Satoshi Kemiya's book. Uh, just go to Origami House. That's her website and you can buy it. Uh, shipping is kind of insane. So it's hard to get. Uh, if I remember correctly, I th Complex Origami, I think you live in India. Um, so Japan is still pretty far away. I don't know if they ship to India or if you will have to pay in uh, customs, uh, which could be a problem. Uh, so I'm not I'm not sure how you could get it, but if you live in America, you can buy it. But also, the shipping is really expensive. Uh, so you know, be careful. <laughs> uh, it's uh, pretty expensive to get the book. Shang Nara, I uh, wanted to ask if box weight would be a better way to fold an armored horse, or if it's better to do it with 22.5. That's a good question. Um, I think if you didn't care about efficiency, you could do it really easily from 22.5 and like graft. So you do a, uh, inner graft, uh, what's it called? Um, 
uh, whatever the graph thing is called in the middle. I, I I'm completely blanking on what the technical term is. Um, but you could take like a traditional base and add pleats where you want the armor to be. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more difficult and challenging, then you could go box pleat and do either an edge river method where you have polygons and it's a non-axial design. So um, ba basically where, like even similar to the two-headed dragon where there's no, um, an axis, right? An axis is like, so like this is the axis, but if I were to fold her in half, it'd be non-axial a horse right it doesn't need an axis it has two sides so it can be non-axial um you could do something like that uh bo so box plate would be good for adding a lot of armor but if you just needed a couple plates you could do 22.5 um anything more you would want box plate because box plate can handle the lots of flaps lots of thin flaps it's a little bit but um more effectively i think it's easier to pack um Am I self-taught? Yes, I am self-taught. I am so self-taught that I now teach is, is the thing. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, you know, obviously I've had people over the years I've met, you know, help me understand some stuff, but from majority, it's, it's all self-taught, like how to make paper, just YouTube tutorials, and then figuring out what works on my own and then seeing what other people do and improving my own method. Um, Purchasing paper, I had to learn that on my own too. Uh, there wasn't something like my website where I listed the papers and had a blog about what they're good for. That didn't exist. So I had to save up money and purchase a paper and see which ones were good, which ones I liked, which ones I didn't. Um, all that sort of stuff. Um, uh, that's all part of my long journey of origami. As, uh, yeah, but now, uh, hopefully I've made that process faster for people if they are able to watch my YouTube channel and check out my website. Um, even the competitions, right? There was not many competitions, but I wanted to do them so I could get better at folding. Um, now I pr provide the competitions, so, you know. Uh, but yeah, mostly, mostly self-taught, for sure. And this middle flap is not collapsing well, so I'm trying to be careful. Since this is a competition model, I'm trying to be relatively clean so that it'll be easier for me to shape. On some of my designs, I don't care about being clean as much because I know how to shape them. Uh, but this one, I don't know exactly what I'm going to shape it like yet. Um, let's see. Is pieces are just decreased patterns. Uh, let me see, Gabe. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, Chris's are. Yeah, yeah. He just does crease patterns. Um, what did I do to get motivation to the origami? Um, I just think it's cool. And I like the process of having something two-dimensional and limited as a square and be able to make something 3D. Um, so that part about like creating something is what really motivates me because I, I find it to be really cool and I can like anything in my brain that I can think of, it's like the space where I can, I guess, release that or create something physical with those ideas. Um, that's why I really like origami. Oh, find a book online. Um, I recommend you don't do that. Uh, I don't support book piracy. I think it's very bad for origami designers and it will eventually kill out origami books. So I do not recommend trying to search for the books online. Um, and if you do, don't tell me about it and don't tell anyone else about it. And that's kind of okay. The, the more that piracy spreads, the worse it is. I understand some people can't buy the books, but they really want to fold the models. So they do pirate the book, but don't tell anyone about it because um, then you just become part of the problem, you know, and then 
don't tell me you do it and we don't have to worry about that either but i recommend you don't uh try looking for it online that's my personal um take on that issue um same self-taught yeah a lot of people are self-taught hey thanks for stopping by jason Bourne. thanks for the great question as well earlier um always good seeing you in the streams shang nara yeah be, uh if you remember i've shown you the reference let's connect oh it's connected with the bp yeah 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 done with the human just confused on the horse i see i see um that's right um yeah, well, definitely box play is the way to go for something that complicated, Chagnara. Uh, we could feel free to in the Discord. Um, maybe we can, I can analyze it a little bit more if you have some more pro progress on that, or you can message me on Instagram. I can see. Uh, Jesse, did I use YouTube to learn? Uh, I read books first, so let me grab. Right, so I learned from a lot from these two books as a kid. Um, and even with this book, like when I started, I couldn't fold anything, basically. I could maybe fold uh, this fish and a seahorse, and I kept trying these and failing. And with the insects, right, I could do... I, I, didn't, I couldn't do much from this book, but eventually I was able to. I was able to do scorpion. Now I can do everything in the book. Um, and then later on on YouTube, there was no, there's not much about how to design or crease patterns or anything. So all that stuff was just me trying on my own. Um, I had it again, there was no information like what I provide now. Um, there's just very small bits. And then there was people like Tadashi Mori and Joe Nakashima. And I paid a lot of, not only did I fold the models, but I paid a lot of attention to how they taught them. And that started to teach me some structure. And then after I learned how to recrease patterns, just all the knowledge increased because um, everything else made sense. And I just had to try as many crease patterns as I could. I kept trying harder and harder ones and making sure I could fold them. Uh, and then and then I knew once I could do code to Ime crease patterns with no problem and I could shape them relatively well. I won't say insanely well, but it was insanely good compared to what I used to be able to do. Then I knew I was ready to design. Um, and I designed the Samurai. That's one of my first designs, the version one. So if you remember the version one, um, that's that was one of my first ones. I did some other designs that, again, I kind of just got lucky. I didn't know how to design. And that would be like the fish, which is the fish, right? Um, this, I got lucky with this design because I didn't know how to read crease patterns. Even when I drew the crease pattern for this design, it was technically wrong. <laughs> like that's how much I didn't know. Uh, so I got lucky with that. But the Samurai version one was the first one where I was like confident. And it was still incorrect for the most part, but that was the start of uh, what I do now. Did my mom and dad allow it? Um, well, I studied really hard. I just did it on my own. So, you know, they didn't really know for a while. Um, I just, you know, studied really hard. Got free time. Um, by staying up later, working on origami, working on myself, learning. And then, yeah, now now they support me. Um, they, when I was a little bit younger and I was doing it, they brought me to the origami conventions. Um, and now, now, you know, I just, I pay for it myself. I go by myself. Um, I work, <laughs> I save up money. I worked back then too. save up money, do internships, study hard to work, to make money, to do origami. Right. So that's, that's the, the path you could take. Um, and yeah. So if that is uh, an issue, uh, I think first thing is just, <laughs> I can't give life advice really for parental relationships, but you know, study hard, uh, listen to your parents and eventually just, you know, make it so you can do what you want to do. Um, 
not going to be the same for everyone, though. So, you know, that's not an exact answer. Uh, where is Mark? Oh, yeah, where is Mark? Um, he'll he'll show up, I think, or he's busy. I, I kind of didn't announce that I started streaming. Let's see. Uh, this one, Ted. Oh, that's Carl. Oh, you finished the book. Oh, nice. Flowers uh, for Algernon. Finish in four days. Well, that's that's pretty good. That's a great book. Um, did I uh, live now? Yeah, I'm not sure where Mark is, but hopefully he shows up. How many times was I told by other people for being crazy doing complex origami as a hobby? My family always says I'm crazy. Yeah, uh, all the time. Um, when I was in college even, I didn't have any friends yet. So I would stay up late at night and I'd be in like the common area because that's where there was a table large enough to fold. And I would just be folding paper. I, would, I didn't really talk to anyone. And I'm sure everyone thought I was weird because they'd see me there. Uh, really late at night working and like <laughs> it's like what's this guy crumpling paper for you know uh, they had no idea I would even be making something because uh, you know it doesn't look like anything until it's almost done um, uh, people still think I'm crazy um, you know and then they think it's crazy um cool once they once I show them what it looks like <laughs> so that's that's nice but yeah it's definitely a niche hobby that seems strange to people but I think once they start to look into it a little bit more they find a lot of beauty and if they don't find beauty then hey that's a that's just a skill issue on their end you know what I mean they don't understand how cool origami is yet um, but they but they should because origami is really cool All right, so this is an interesting structure, by the way. Let me, um, let's see, I think there's some more questions, but I want to explain what I'm observing about this structure before I start shaping it, because we're, we're done with the collapse, pretty much. So we have our legs here, and you can see they are ridge shifted, or ridge pleated to the top, so we have a smooth leg that we can swivel out. Um, actually, I wish it was shifted on the other side so I could swivel it, but we, we can just like basically mush it out to the side. We have a leg here. We have a leg here and there's some small flaps for who knows what, maybe it'll be a detail. Maybe not. We have this, which can be clothing. It can either be bottom clothing or we can fold it up into something on the top. And we also have one more flap here for whatever details we want. Then we have the neck. So it's a two unit neck and then a face. Now the face is, it's one flap for the chin, two flaps, which is like the rest of the face, but this is going to fold down into the hair. So it's basically another flap and then one flap for hair. Uh, but there's extra room here. This is for more hair. There's some longer flaps. So I think to make most use of this, we should actually keep the face a little bit lower and then use these for hair. Uh, but it lets us do either a more male or a more female model, depending on what you want to go for or, or what, yeah, any kind of vibe uh, or armor or whatever sorts. Uh, but we're going to have to shrink the face quite a bit because the body is only two units tall. So that means the face to be proportional needs to be pretty small as well. And then here's the arm. So we have one arm here, one arm on this side. Now, the length of the arms is this long. However, we have a river attached to this flap, the one unit river right here. And that means this is the one that's gonna swivel. So it swivels like this. And that way, now the hinge is in the center of the back. So 
this makes both arms the same length, right? You see that? And that's what our arms look like. Very interesting structure to do asymmetrically. And then lastly, we have this long flap here on the bottom, um, which in my use fold was used for a cape. So on this one, it was used for a cape. Um, I could use this for, I don't know, more clothing. It can kind of be anything. It could be, uh, it could even wrap around the back and be like a head detail or hair or like a snake looking over someone's shoulder. Um, so I'll, I'll have to think about what I want to do. Uh, but that's generally our structure. It's pretty cool. A lot of room for shaping for sure. Um, yeah, pretty neat. Let's see. Um, instead of books, my beginner years consist of Joe Nakashima and Jeremy Schaefer. Yeah, that's a excellent way to, to go. I'm doing my YouTube channel on my mom's phone. Nice. You know, if you're young and that's all you have, what I recommend is at least you're doing something. So at least you're trying. It doesn't have to be anything crazy yet. The important part is to stay with it. So never, never quit and never think that your circumstance um, stops you for any reason. You know, find a way around, you know, even if it has means waiting for a while. Just keep up with it and keep going. Like uh, if you look on my channel, I've had it since 2014. That's nine years, right? And only in the past like three years was I able to start making money from the channel. Uh, but because I had stuck with it for nine years, you know, now it's paying off. Um, now it's like, oh, Oh, my, my parents don't really mind anymore, but if there was some sort of authority figure questioning me about doing origami all the time, right, it makes money now, so they can't really argue either, right? So it's part of that process. Just keep keep at it, stay consistent, be patient, make sure you like it, and then you're, you're good to go. Drayden Zorigami says, hearing about origami books again reminds me of when I was six and saw an origami book in the library. Thought it was cool. That moment changed my life. Oh, that, hey, that's great. Yeah, I was similar, right? When I first saw that origami sea life book in an aquarium, like I really, really wanted it. And once I was able to get that book, yeah, like, it's life changing for sure. That's really cool. Mark, there's Mark. Hey, someone was asking about you earlier. Now you're here. Hello, hello. Mark, yes. Mark is here. Oh, German. Let's go. I don't speak German. Gabe, did I go through any origami phases I don't like? For me, it was the 3D origami phase. Thankfully, I never really did. Not thankfully, but personally, I didn't ever get into modular or um, 3D origami or a golden, golden river. Golden. Is that what it's called? Not Golden River. Uh, Gold. Uh, well, whatever it's called. Um, Golden Venture. Golden Adventure. Um, folding. Uh, I kind of started before I did origami. I made paper airplanes a lot. Um, but I like that. I think I think paper airplanes are pretty cool. Um, so uh, I didn't disappoint myself with that. I guess. Um, yeah, I've pretty much stuck to you know, representational single sheet most of my life. Because even back when I started, when I would see tutorials where you had to like cut stuff or, you know, add another paper, I just didn't really want to do it. So I never really chose to fold those things. Um, but, you know, it's, it, I think it's fine. Um, if that's how you start and then you get into stuff later, like no, no need to be ashamed of it. Um, uh, you know, got you to where you are. So don't worry too much. It's all good. But I can understand you don't like it as much when you look back in retrospect. <laughs> Why don't I sell your models? I do. I do sell my models. Um, it does. It does work. Thank you. Thank you. That's a compliment. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, they. Uh, I, I do sell them. I believe on my store, you can see the prices of what I lack. So I, they, I added those to the store because someone wanted to buy it. So I added the listing to the store. So if you're curious on how much they go for, 
or how much I sold it for, you can go check that out. Um, and I had to work really hard to get to that point is what I'll say. But um, yeah, it's exciting. Okay, I don't like the fact that this flap is right here. I kind of want it up here because right now it's in the middle of the stomach. I'm not too sure what to, <laughs> what to do with it. Uh, can I shift it up one? So if I shift it, I can, I can, I can shift it up one. And I don't think that'll change the design that much. It's just moving the flap. So I obviously don't want to redesign this design. So I think that would be cheating for the competition, but I can adjust the flap with one stretch since it doesn't really change the structure at all. Thank you boys for the suggestion. I'm feeling more relaxed with the horse. Cool. I still think I must have folded thousands of modular Sonobe units in my time. I also, hey, Sonobe units are, there's some, there's some really cool stuff with the Sonobe unit. Um, low key. I think uh, we can unite as a paper artist, no matter the genre, right? <laughs> Okay, so what I would like to do is have the neck sort of like this. So I'm, I'm dry shaping a little bit. I don't really know what pose I'm going for yet, but that's that's what I'm going to choose next. Uh, but first, I just want to see what I want to use some of the structure for. So I definitely want to have the neck kind of like here, and then this will allow me to have a smaller face, ideally, and a fair-sized neck. Now, this flap is a little short. Um, but I guess we can squeeze it out if we do another one like this, which this kind of makes it have no neck, but maybe if it covers up enough, we'll be okay. Like no one has to really see it too much. Um, and then we have plenty of room for that. That's going to have to shrink down a lot because the arms aren't too long. They're only basically four units long. Um, so ideally I can just make everything thinner as well. And then we have this flap for clothing. Um, so we can do a lot of stuff. We could do pleats. We could do, um... Even a, a, a battle dress kind of thing, I think. Uh, all right, so like we could even shift out like that. Get more width. Um, let's see, what, what should we do? We have really, these legs are really long. Um, but I, I guess once we add a foot, we can lose a lot of this section because I want the foot higher. So maybe, maybe it's not too long, actually. But let's start to think. So some initial things I had ideas for. It's called the poser. So I want it in an interesting pose. Um, let's see. Call me? Call you? Like on your cell phone? Uh, I don't do personal calls. Um, I think uh, later on, I'm thinking of doing tutoring, like origami tutoring, one-on-one -on -one private lessons. Um, but those will be paid. Um, they won't be free. I, I This is kind of the free private lesson is a live stream, right? Gabe, also, uh, FYI, I'm probably going to... Uh, do not finish on the turtle competition. I've been so busy with IV exams and I want to finish the 3.5 before I graduate. Yeah, no problem. Um, you know, thanks for supporting anyways. Uh, whatever you get the chance, you have those diagrams forever. So, um, you know, even if it's not for the competition, it's a fun model to fold um, one day. But yeah, focus on those IB exams. That's tough. I've been there. No, I know how you feel. And also with 3.5, that's, uh, I think that takes priority. So no problem, but thanks for signing up anyways. Uh, but let's get some information from chat. Uh, what do you, what kind of pose do you think I should do? Like, uh, when I was thinking about it, I was thinking of maybe even doing a sitting pose. Just something like really different. So 
some kind of sitting pose. Um, we could even ha like pose it on a box so that it's a, uh, you know, doesn't have to sit on the floor. We could e we could even sit it on the floor. Um, I think that'd be a little bit strange. It doesn't work too well with box plate. Well, maybe the legs are long enough that we could. Uh, it could be kneeling. I think kneeling is kind of generic, unless if it's like a really interesting lean. Um, you do some kind of like, the arms are also short, so I don't think we can do anything where the arms are over the head. Um, there's just not enough swivel room for it. Um, well, we, we, we have a swivel, so I guess one arm could be over the head. One arm could be down, but I think that's still, still kind of weird, <laughs> right? There's not too much room here for that. Um, let's see, what other things could we could do? We could pose it in the air as well, like it's jumping. Doing a flying kick. We could do a, 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 a kung fu pose or a martial arts pose. Mark, since the model has a lot of flaps, maybe a heroic pose. Ooh, heroic pose. So something like, um, hmm, uh, what would be like a heroic pose? Something really grand, right? So he's like, chest up, shoulders wide kind of deal, like power stance. Um, I think the arms are a little too short to like fully power stance it. Because uh, I think we're going to have to thin almost everything out. Um, could do Superman, oh, Superman landing. I guess that's heroic as well, right? So that's a knee here and then a fist to the floor too, right? Like a fist to the floor. Um, and then face looking up. That could be interesting. That would be a little bit hard to do. But surely not impossible. We even have the cape. My brother is asking when the live stream will end. Uh, I don't know. It's going to go on for a long time, I think. Uh, I think knees on knees is kind of like, like kind in rain. Could be, a, oh, yeah, like... Um, like a like a, a desperate like whoa like a woe is me kind of pose can be cool Kate blowing in the wind <laughs> Naruto Naruto run yeah 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 that there you go that would be actually easy because uh, the arms are in the back already Oh snap! Do we just make Naruto? Is that is that <laughs> is that is that what uh, this is a headband, and then uh, like one of these headband and hair? Um, wait, what? Let me look. What does Naruto wear? I don't know if we could. Uh... How sp how spiky is his hair? So he's got the headband, spiky hair, shinobi robe. Or it's more like a a track a track outfit. Track jacket and pants. Um, which we could use this for. What would the cape be, though? Um, we, we could just not use it and <laughs> not use the cape. I feel like we should use it. Um, he doesn't really use a sword, does he? Not really. Hmm. It's potential. It's a potential. Want to really go? Oh, I was spider man upside down. Oh, snap. Wait, it could be like uh, this string, right? And then spider man upside down. Yo, I kind of like that. That's different. That's really different. Am I going to shape life too? Yeah, we're going to start shaping soon. Once I know like what I'm posing it as, then we're going to start shaping. 
Shakespeare holding a skull. Do a fight pose holding a dra oh we <laughs> hold a dragon like this could be a dragon and then have it hold on to it or something. Um, or it could even be a snake in the back or the dragon coming out the back right. Um, Goku. Uh, it could be Goku. Um, I don't think I'd be able to get the robes too well, but I'm kind of liking the idea of the Spider-Man pose. Can you do the classic Mayuri pose? Chasing the sunlight and moonlight with her hands. And then this could be more of like the, the flowing dress. Chainsaw Man. I've already done Chainsaw Man. I don't think this one could do Chainsaw Man. There's not enough uh, laps for that. Oh, like just Denji in general. Actually, um, well, then I, we still have this problem. Uh, I could turn this into like Pochita or something. Um, oh, Dio. True. I, I think I think the Spider-Man one, I'm, I really like that idea um, of using this long flap as the spider web. Because I can thin it or just face it this way. But that's thin. And have the legs upside down. And then, um, uh, we can try to make the Spider Man mat. Can we even make a Spider Man mask? We might not be able to. Uh, let me see. How we can try to do some version of Spider Man. Um, it might be a little scuffed. If not, it could just be Spider Man without his mask, right? Um, we can, we can worry about that later. That's what I like to say, but I am liking that idea. Could. Makima. Oh, um, I, this one is not thick enough to be Makima, but I do have that one already as well. Um, dramatic fainting pose with a hand on the forehead the arms actually aren't long enough for that low key if they were one more unit longer I could do like anything with uh, hands above the head is going to be really difficult I think um, oh Gardevoir oh yeah 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 that could this could be that could I like even the legs are kind of on point for that. Um, it would work. A half mask for the upside down kiss scene. Yo, that's smart. Um, okay, I think I think it's decided. We're gonna do the Spider Man pose, and we're gonna try to also do Spider Man. Um, not like an exact Spider Man, but just enough to convey that is Spider Man. Let me find a good picture of him upside down that we can use as reference. Yeah, so most of the time, Spider-Man is upside down and one or both arms are also hanging onto the web. So. His legs are like really flexible, right? So they're like here and here. And then one of his hands is hanging onto the web. So I could be like here. And then the other hand we can also either have hanging onto the web or free hand. Um, <laughs> if I could do fingers somehow, I would make him do the, the other web pose. But I don't think we I don't think I can point split this into fingers um, but that's okay we don't really need that and what we could potentially do is do a trick where this also becomes part of the web that his hand is grabbing onto and then it basically connects with this one into the 
the the whole thing so it kind of cheats it uh we might not need this this it might be enough to have the legs out like this and for the one of the arms to grab in just for the illusion but we'll see so i'm gonna reserve this flap for now just for extra web uh room but i think we're doing okay and then if all else fails yeah, we can just do some weird detail in the middle here. It should be fine. Uh, the more I look at the base, the more I realize how absurd the shaping is in the photo. Yeah, Mayu is crazy. Mayu did a ridiculously amazing job with the uh, with everything. Uh, insane. <laughs> see watch the chat uh make it like anti-venom and used the extra flaps like he's trying to free himself from it anti-venom let me look that up i don't think i could do all of that let me see i don't want to do too oh i see what you mean um yeah i don't i wouldn't be able to do like a tongue though like i can't go too crazy we can just we can just go kind of different i think that'd be too much I like the multi-person fighting itself. It's such a cool concept. Uh, it comes from the rest, so that would make sense. Yeah. My brother is fighting me with the Fortifone. Ah, well, if you have to go, no problem. You can watch the rest of the stream later. Thanks for watching in the first place. Uh, but, you know, be nice to your brother as well. Um, you can take turns. <laughs> you know. All right. So let's start with... Uh, the Spider-Man. Um, I think starting here is fine. So actually, I'm trying to think. This is definitely going to be web. Now, do I want to go this way with it? Oh, I can also wait. I can also do it like this too, where. Um, Can I? No, I think that'd be too weird to make the face from here. Yeah, that'd be too weird. Okay. Uh, boys, watch the chat, man. I'm, I'm trying. Uh, did you see the whale design post in Hall of Fame earlier? Uh, I'll have to check that out later. I can't remember if I saw that yet. Did you do the wet folding? Um... Uh, who did the wet folding? Oh, Mayu? Yeah, Mayu's, Mayu wet folded that. It's crazy. All right, so, uh, okay. I don't think we need to pull out the methyl cellulose yet, but we can try. I'm, I'm kind of confused exactly what to do here because ideally I can have enough of a torso. Um, but at the same time, it would work really well if I just went non-axial. Um, but let me, yeah, okay. Let, I think I found a good picture though to use as reference. It's from the Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man 2 movie poster. And we're going to try to use everything we can to our advantage here, um, including how long the legs are. Start off like this, and let's see. Let's hide this up here. Oh, Shaynar was talking about the whale, maybe the wet folded whale. Hall of Fame. Let me let me see really quick. I need to work on this, but we can check that out once I get this fold down. We just kind of had to start, I'd say. Hold on. What was the swivel I was trying to do? Let me do it from the back. Any guesses what paper my use? Uh, it's definitely Wenjo rice paper. Uh, that is just what is widely available in Germany and what Mayu likes to use. Um, Hall of Fame.
Oh, that one. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Um, that's my son. Cool. Za with Canton paper. So the. Wow. I wonder if it's a uh, Za on top of Canton or if it's the whale is Za paper and then the uh, stand is the Canton's. Yeah. Sun is cracked at shaping, for sure. The base of the whale, I believe, is wet folded. The whale itself is not. Yeah, the, the whale is just shaped with glue or methyl cellulose or something. You can sell it for millions saying it's modern art. <laughs> I don't think I can sell it for millions. Or, uh, you know, you kind of need the right connection to sell for millions, but you can sell for a couple thousand. For sure. But we don't sell models that we do not design. So don't sell it unless it's your own design. Where you get permission from the designer and probably give them some of the money too. That's just fair and good ethics. So we care about good ethics here. Bobby, Bobby, yo, hey, great to see you here. Glad I could catch the stream. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, you're here right in time. We finished the claps and we're starting to shape. Mark, since this is your interpretation, shouldn't you fold something you're used to? Like a warrior grabbing his sword from the back with one hand. You know, that's true, Mark, but at the same time, I, I'm not really doing this to win. I think if I was trying to win the competition, I would do that. Um, I just want something weird and different and fun and i think this spider-man pose is strange enough that people are gonna be like oh that's a that's that is something you can do that is surely something you can do um but you're not you're not wrong mark um technically I, I i should do that but uh today we are not doing that <laughs> um yeah, I'm kind of uh this is also a, an opportunity for me to reset my own brain cuz I've been doing a lot of uh my own style recently. So, this helps refresh my creativity. Do something that's still, you know, within my genre, but not something too similar to everything else I've been doing. I think that's a nice balance. Gonna go finish the two-headed dragon. Sounds good. Good work on that. Keep it up. If you finish it in time, you're still in the running for the crease patterns. For winning those crease patterns. So great luck with that. Make a video where I explain introduce origami to people. Um, so maybe, but I also am not an origami channel for beginners. And I kinda wanna stay that way. Um yeah, I'd, I'd much rather spend my time on helping the advanced origami folders than um, showing that, uh, than helping the beginners, because there's a lot of beginners content already. I think most of YouTube, uh, origami on YouTube is for beginners. Um, even the tutorials are more catered towards beginners. Um, and I, I want to provide stuff for the complex people. Um, like competitions and shaping videos and paper guides and stuff like that. So, um, you know, maybe one day I might make a web course and I'll sell it to beginners who want extra information. But um, for my YouTube channel, I think uh, I'm not going to do beginner stuff. Um, not trying to be like, uh, what is it called? Like, like ableist or something? I don't know. Uh, elite, too elitist. But uh, um, there's, there's not enough uh, stuff out there for the elite. Uh, you know the the advanced people, and I want to I want to give the advanced people more stuff. Can introduce on yes yeah, complex origami. You can do that on your channel if you'd like. You can make those videos. Um, okay, okay, boys. I'm heading out to sleep. Got to run a 400. Ooh, nice. Good luck on that 400. Can't wait to see the fold in the shaping chat. 
and you better not go beginner. Yeah, that. <laughs> that's right. Don't worry. I won't go beginner. We're not doing that. Um, yeah, 30, 30 videos. Nice. You can do it side by side. Yeah, maybe, but I still probably, I, I'm not really doing beginner content too much. Um, uh, yeah, if, if it's be more beginner content, it's more, yeah, for show. But I'm not going to be teaching uh, beginners, I don't think. Uh, even at conventions, I don't teach beginner classes. Uh, I'll teach intermediate, maybe. And some beginner, I, I teach, I think, well enough that some beginners have been able to fold like my anglerfish and more complex models like that. Uh, but I, I don't cater towards beginners. I, I make it known that there's going to be some harder moves or folds in this class uh, meant for a more advanced crowd. Um, just because, yeah, there's there's not as much of that um, in the origami space. It's, it's more rare to come across. Oh, 30 subscribers. I see, I see. It's okay. I remember when I had under 100 subscribers for a really long time. Uh, but again, you uh, you earn subscribers over time with the work you put in. So keep at it. And uh, never forget where you came from, right? You know, it's like maybe one day in the future when you, if you're super famous, always remember the times when you didn't have as many subscribers because it helps keep your, uh, your mind refreshed, um, and thankful and humble. And that helps you stay productive and not get burnt out. Uh, Cause YouTube's hard. Um, a lot of people start YouTube and it's really hard to, to maintain. Emotional damage. No, it's okay. Don't don't have emotional damage. Thirty people, if you think about it, complex origami. If thirty people walked into your house right now, because they wanted to see you do origami, that's a lot of people. You know, that's a lot of people. Um, so don't don't worry too much about the numbers, because it's already, uh, you know, it's already enough. You can go somewhere with it. All right, I'm trying to see the foot. So I think this might be too thin for the foot, but I need the leg long enough. And actually, once I thin everything down, I think this foot will be long or be big enough. I'm kind of just doing a generic foot for now. Something like this, and then the calves are going to thin out more. Um, now I need the back of his thighs to be, this is an interesting pose because I need space out here to see the back of his leg as well. So it's going to be like a mixed 3d shaping, but none too crazy that, or I do something like, like this to have the back show, or we just try to hide it with the web. That should be okay too. Let's try doing this with uh, this leg. I'm at nine nine nine. Yeah, we're really close to ten thousand. Yeah, it's crazy. I I never expected uh, it to to be like this when I first started. Like once I hit a hundred, I was super happy because I was like, oh my goodness, that's a hundred. And it took me a long time too. I think it took like over a year or two years to get 100. Um, and now we're approaching 10,000. That's crazy. That's super exciting. And that's why I promised the tutorial at 10,000. So I'll start making that once we, basically once I finish the last paper video, part four, then um, start on that. 
Should be pretty fun. About to hit 10. Yeah, let's see. We are, let me check exactly. I don't think on my channel page it says exactly what we're at. Okay, we're at 9993. So seven more subscribers and we hit 10,000. I don't know if we'll hit that during the stream, but uh, if we do, that'd be cool. But any day now, right? Seven, seven more. It's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, a tutorial for the Dragonplate Armor Assassin. Because um, basically that tutorial will let you fold all the variations of it. So the one with the sword, the one with the axe or halberd or any kind of weapon you want, basically. Um, because the, the body is the exact same. It's just the arms that are a little different. And the arms are the easiest part of that model. They're super easy. Um, so as long as you know the legs and the chest, it's the rest is pretty much the same. Um, even though the weapon's different. Okay, so that's looking good. Imagine 10,000 people walked in my house. That would be crazy. That's a lot of people. You know, that, that's more people than were in my high school or something like that. So it'd be like four times the size of my high school walking into my house. That's crazy. I, I My house would not fit 10,000 people, I don't think. <laughs> Shang says, as an Indian, I know a lot of Indian creators what a lot of in creators do is, um, yeah, don't beg for subs, earn them. Yeah, you're, you're totally right, Shang Nara. I, it's not even just Indian creators. I think um, a lot of people who are new to YouTube um, all across the world beg and beg and beg. But even if the person subscribes after you beg, they're not going to be a very good subscriber, right? They might be mad at you. Um, so you don't, even though they subscribe, you don't want that as a subscriber. You want, you want your subscribers to like you. Um, which means you have to give them something. So you have to earn, you have to earn those subscribers. Yeah, you're exactly right. Um, yeah, no, I mean, even a lot of people, people beg me to subscribe to them too a lot. And it's, it's kind of funny, but I try to help them by explaining to them that you don't want to beg me. Uh, if like if you actually want me to subscribe to your channel, you don't you don't want to you don't want to beg me to to do that because that that's not. Uh, that does not increase my my impression of you um, at all. <laughs> so don't don't do that, and don't do that to other people either. It won't it won't help. But um, you know sometimes it takes people some time to learn that, because um, you know I think uh, na naturally maybe it seems okay. Uh, they don't realize just the how it comes across as begging. Um, but uh. It, it does. <laughs> so, okay, I think this leg is. So, like, this part is just kind of weird. Uh, yeah, okay, we're just gonna have to shape this in a bit more so that we can see the other parts of the leg. And then I think once we shape the calf, it'll be okay. But we're going to do that when it's wet. We're going to leave that kind of dry for now. I think that's going to be fine. I like the idea of that. Now I'm wondering if we can, instead of turning this sideways, if we can just fold this in half. If it's thin enough. Do I have a saber design? I don't have a saber design. I've been thinking about making one, but there's two good ones already. There's one from Obelisk. And there's another one who was in the uh, one of the SAOC books, I think. I can't remember who designed it. Maybe it was Zhang Yifan. 
Um, but uh, I don't know if I could do better than them, but I could put it in my own style. Um, but man, the color changes are hard. Like, I feel like I have to color change it uh, just because blue and white is kind of classic. Um, that's kind of hard. So I haven't, I haven't started on that project yet, but that would be really cool. Yeah, exactly. They have 3K subs, but their views are like 20 to 30. So that's that's bad because the YouTube algorithm will basically see that there's an imbalance of subscribers and watch time or watch kind of um, percentage of subscribers. And that can trick the algorithm to think that people aren't wanting to watch those types of videos and won't really recommend it outside of the channel. Um, so that's... That's why you, you don't do that. <laughs> um, it's kind of how it works. There's a lot of paper there. There is a lot of paper there. Do something unique with the web. Um, let's see. I don't exactly know. I think, I'm not sure. Right now, what I'm thinking is if I can make it really thin, that might be the best bet. Um, I could fold it the other way and make it so that some of these layers look like the strands that actually might be better. I think Jesse, I think, I think you're right actually, because then it'll actually look like a web because webs are made out of strands, uh, lots of strands that become strong. So I'm going to, I'm going to fold it the other way. And then from there I can ev even add some like irregularities to it and it'll look more like the web as I'm looking at the picture of it. Uh, I don't want to do the Phoenix tail. I don't, I think that'd be way too thick. Um, also it would look like the Phoenix tail. So I think maybe, maybe we shouldn't do that. Um, uh, but I'll at least put it this way. So we have some texture for the web. Spidey leg look like frog legs. Oh, don't worry. It's, we're going to shape it. This is just, uh, um, I'm, I'm just drafting everything. We're just sketching everything first and then we're going to, um, wet shape it later. Okay. So now we can use these flaps for his torso. I feel like I should do something so his legs don't look super <laughs> awkward, but at the same time, I don't want to make it like weird in the middle. Um, make it like a chain. Yeah. So like with this, I might be able to do it like a chain. Not too sure, but we're going to see. Um, also his torso is bent inwards a little bit. So it like angles th this way. Around his abs. Or no, it's not even around his abs. It's just around his legs, kind of. And then uh, neck. Neck and arms. So it's basically like this. Looks like a, a frog. That's true. It does look like a frog. Yeah, I'm not, we have like almost too much room in the back, but I guess I can do some hair and a face. Uh, TR Bassin, hey boys, sorry we didn't get to connect the last time you're in Phoenix. Oh, no problem. I, I, I tried to make it to the, uh, um, the monthly meeting, but I, th I think my flight arrived like after, um, or it would have been, I would have been, I wouldn't be able to drive out in time and I missed it, but, uh, no problem. I plan to try to catch it sometime, maybe, uh, later this year, uh, if I'm back in Arizona again, but thanks for watching the stream. Uh, Steve moved up from Arizona and it's been attending the Oregon sessions. So that's been really fun. Um, but yeah. Uh, 
complex origami model. Oh, yo, what's up? Wait. Oh, this is your other channel? It switched up the the profile picture. I was confused. Leaving. Ah, uh, well, th thanks for joining in. Um, gotcha. Sp uh, trash Spidey Man make it look like a <laughs> crazy frog. <laughs> a frog upside down. Oh, yeah, wait. What if we just made a frog? <laughs> yeah, like, scratch the human part. Let's just make a frog, right? Uh, just yeah forget about that we just uh it's it's just a frog oh froppy makes you from my hugo academia great character by the way Okay, so I still have no idea what I'm going to do with this flap, but we are going to ignore it for now and just try to shape the legs and the uh, web. I think that's that's the goal. So the web's the easiest, I think. So let's start with that, and then we're going to do the legs. So we can actually, like, get somewhere, and then we can worry about everything later. And the nice thing about MC is if for some reason we don't want to do this anymore, I can just un I can get it wet again and unfold it all. Um which pro we probably won't do, but um, it's an option. Steve is a great guy. We miss him. Yeah, he's uh, he's got a lot of leadership qualities to him and like has just started teaching some of the young kids and uh, sharing a lot of paper and a yeah, really, really great guy. Uh, it's awesome to have him up in Oregon for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Let me grab my paper towel accidentally. I'm see the middle too early before I did the rest. Shangdar, like after we look at the reference picture. Oh, it's not a frog, it's a human. <laughs> Maybe I should fold another one as a frog just for fun. Um, Cause it, to shape it like a frog probably won't take as long as shaping it as a human. I'll just have to recollapse it, but I can use a smaller paper. So, uh, we'll see if I have time to do that as a joke. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, there's a lot of, um, like, uh, pollen in the air. So my nose is really itchy. So if I sneeze and stuff, I apologize. Or if you see me like scratching my nose, it's because I'm probably trying not to sneeze. Uh, but it's tough out here with those allergies. I live in, um, I can't pronounce that. Somewhere in India, which is in Asia, which is in Earth, which is in the Milky Way. Nice. Why put water? Yeah, it's a technique. Um, so if you watch my shaping uh, tutorials, um, that's how you treat paper is with this. And that's also how you shape it too. That's how you get stuff like... Uh, um, that's how you make it round like this. Or um, the dragons, too. Where is it? I'll grab the dragon. That's how you get it to curve. And in this case, this is how I'm getting it to stay put. Yeah, it's not just water. There is a methyl cellulose. 
um, in it. So it's it'll when it dries, it makes the paper really strong. So like I can you can see on this, right? See how strong it is. It'll hold the paper. What I learned it's something called sizing. So something internally in the paper uh, strengthens with this material, and then it holds in place. Um, now, if you use glue, that's like external sizing, which is still fine. Uh, but this this one operates a little bit differently because it it works more like water. But then when it dries, then it's good. Just flexing, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Got to do it for the live stream, you know. All right, so then to get it to dry a little faster. We have hair dryer. Hopefully that's not too loud. Oh, like Fearless Force folded H Dragon into a spider. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like that. You just take the base and shape it. I do have a pink one. It was very cheap. That's why it's pink. It's the cheapest one I could find. It was $5. That's like cheaper than a sandwich or a burger, a cheeseburger nowadays. Crazy, huh? Okay, so I don't want that to, I want it to be straight. I don't want it to bend while it's drying. So hopefully we can do some work on the legs um, while this is drying without letting it bend. Maybe I should add more of these. Um, now it's probably going to leave some marks, but it's okay because it's going to be on the side and we won't see them. But generally I would probably wait longer before I worked on other stuff. But since we're streaming and I don't have too much time, I'm going to, keep working while it dries and just hopefully it dries straight enough um my man has a girl uh, no i don't um uh, moved for a second and ran to a dragon appeared to remind me to post mine that's right mark that's right you finished yours what do you sweet in a sweet? I'm not sure what that means. Um, do you sweet? Am I sweating? Yeah, I like I said, it's like 35 degrees out Celsius. It's very warm. And there's a lamp, um, big light that's hot, shining at me, and my computer is really hot. Nah, I, I I used to, but not anymore. Vishwa, sorry about that. Sorry to disappoint, but it's just a struggle. You know what I mean? But it's okay. We got origami, so we're chilling. B E Y. I'm not too sure what that means either. Sorry. Sorry, complex origami. Not sure what that means. Right. More blow dryer time. Uh, some people said it looks kind of like a squid. It's kind of funny. But it takes a little bit for it to dry. Not too long. Uh, I think my microphone still lets me uh, talk while I'm blow drying. What am I talking about? 
That's a good question. I don't know. Just trying to respond to the questions. Back from taking care of my chicken. What did I miss? Um, we are shaping now. And right now it kind of looks like a frog. Uh, but we're shaping it like Spider-Man. That's what we decided. Everything. Uh, origami, generally. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Vishwa G asked me if I had a girlfriend and I said, no, <laughs> that's the other thing you were talking about, but does it, it does look like a frog. It does look like a frog quite a lot. <laughs> you missed my man's girl story. Uh, bro, let's see. It's always in Buddhist life. First, it's all about origami. Then after people get comfortable, then chat. It's all, but not origami. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's so funny. Yeah, Shane has been around long enough to know. Ah, he doesn't believe me. I think I still have a girl. Dude, where, where, is, she, where is she at? <laughs> tell tell me. I need, I need to know too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, we, we go off topic sometimes. Like we talk about school and work and anime, all this stuff. Depends what kinds of questions you guys have, but relatively it loops back all into origami. Right. Like anime, obviously, I do a lot of origami anime characters. Um, school, I didn't do origami in school, but or I didn't study origami in school, but uh, we made it through school so that we can do origami. All sorts of stuff. Pretty sure your girl is inside one of your boxes next to your samurais. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's right. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here, I got, I, here's one of, here's one of my girls, right? There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, next to the samurai. They get, they, they get their own display stand and uh, crease pattern. So it's pretty, pretty good deal, right? Um, oh, actually that works to leave it flat. Let's just do that. So this, I need to shape like a calf. So we go in a straight line before we do loops. True. I remember when I did that. Uh, sometimes we talk about tasting paper, eating paper. Wow. Yeah. I remember that one too. That was, that was interesting. Uh, eating paper. Yeah. That, that topic comes up like maybe like once every two years or something like that or, it gets it gets really random sometimes. Don't remember that, please. <laughs> uh, was were were you guys there when I ate the loop chi? Were you there for that stream? That one was like three years ago. I ate a corner of the loop chi. Um. Yeah, that uh, that was di different times. Different times. <laughs> oh boy. That's pretty funny. All right, so this front, I'm gonna have to shape the front and back of the legs, but you can kind of start to see the shape of the back of the leg. I wish there was a little bit more paper for the front of the leg. I might actually have to scoot it up to make the thigh um, have more mass. Now I want to eat rice paper. Ooh, rice paper is good. That's good stuff. That that's an edible paper. Um, treated tissue paper with menthol cellulose is technically edible, but not really edible. Um, probably toxic in larger amounts. I definitely don't recommend that. Fold it into something and eat. Oh, true, true. Yeah, fold the rice paper into something and then eat it. You can even just do like the one fold stegosaurus or something like that. 
And then um, uh, Vishwa, if you're still here, so you can see, right? We added the methyl cellulose with the water, and then we dried it, and now it's staying in place. All right, so that's the that's the technique there. <clears throat> in action, it's uh, not fully in place yet. We need to do some more work, but um, generally, it's it's starting. And then it's going to be like at that angle for the web. But it needs to dry a little bit more, and then I can work on the back. Is If I work on the back now, it's all just going to squish together because uh, it's still kind of wet. Um, but we can work on the other leg while we wait. And that will be good. I don't want to get too, too wet, which I think I might have done a little bit too much because I do want it to dry at a reasonable rate. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's too wet. It takes a lot longer to dry. This is just more water in general. And I don't want to be blow drying the entire time. Imagine making a reusion from rice paper and then taking a bite out of it. Wow, that would be something. Um, hopefully it's the best bite where the bite can uh, make you happy for all the work you put in <laughs> or something like that. Like maybe, maybe you season it right before your bite. So it's extra good. That'd be, you, you would be working really hard for that one bite. You know, my exams are done, but now I'm suffering from typhoid fever. Oh, no, I could have completed a design. Oh, man, that is rough. I hope you feel better soon. That does not sound fun. That, ooh, oh, no. But uh, congratulations with your exams. But that is really rough. I'm so sorry. And what ratio of MC powder to water do I use? So, um... This is like a slightly larger mug for like coffee and with that much water, which I can't remember what it is in metric, um, but average, average size cup, right? Um, it's two, two scoops, two spoons. So, um, you know, a regular spoon you would use to eat just two scoops. And that's my, that's my ratio. And I, I never measure anything past that. I, I don't specifically measure it at all. I just, two scoops looks good, hot water, let it sit for a day or two or a day overnight. Call it, call it good. Use it, mix it. You know, I, I never measure, uh, but that's, that's the most measurement I do. Mark, does anyone have a cool or random origami history that you'd like to share? Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. Great question, Mark. I can hear you just fine, even through the blow dryer. Sweet. Um, is your job origami? No, I am a software slash cloud slash CI engineer. So I do a lot of... Uh, I think um, when people... I, I could say, like, I'm a programmer but it doesn't describe exactly everything I do. I do a bit more specialized thing than that. Oh, my bit rate is too high. I think the stream's still coming in okay. If the stream gets a little bit weird, let me know. I think I set my bit rate too high. Should be okay. I do computer stuff, yeah. I do advanced computer stuff. And I work for Intel. If you guys know Intel, you make the computer chips for maybe your computer. I don't make the chips though. That's not my job. Um, but I work with the people that do. It's pretty cool. All right, so that's that leg and then we have this leg which uh how did i do it over here i did like
other thing like here. Sorry, I was about five minutes back. Didn't realize blow dryer. Started. Oh, okay, okay. I was a little worried that my bit rate was causing a delay in the stream, but no problem. Um, yeah, no, I don't do chips. I do uh, continuous integration for firmware, which goes on to chips, but I don't actually do the chips. Um, I'm just part of the system that eventually makes the chips. <laughs> now that's a story. Oh, there's a story from Drayden. Let's see this story. Um, Drayden, Mark, I have a story. Back a few years ago, I made insects from aluminum foil before throwing it into a bathtub to see how long it would last. Whoa. Wait, how long did it last, actually? I'm I'm wonder I'm curious. This is aluminum foil, it probably eventually erodes with some water, right? Um but I don't know. I feel like it could also last a little while. Yeah, I got one too. It's kind of funny. It's recent. I was folding uh Mahara, uh Maharaga, the uh origami Mahara oh I can't pronounce that, but when I was collapsing, I just randomly put it on a shelf and slept. But in the morning, it was in the dustbin. No, my mom thought it was useless because it looked messed up. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, no. Yeah, what is like partially done, right? But um, your mom couldn't tell. Oh, no. It's a big, big sad. F's in the chat for uh, Shagnara's fold. It's super sad. Around and aluminum foil lasts around five hours. So that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, F's in the chat. Thank you, thank you. That's so sad, actually. It's a story. It's the fate of every origami boy that has <laughs> every single one. No. So sad. <laughs> At least it was your mother, not someone possessed. Not some possessed Choiselle dwarfs. True. Sobby Bobby says, I don't have anything too crazy, but I tried Darkness Dragon with A4 printer paper multiple times before I discovered good paper. Ooh, that sounds difficult. That sounds like it probably wouldn't work. And I'm glad you found your good paper. <laughs> uh... That sounds hard, actually. Just on your fingers. You know, though, Tadashi Mori's new dragon, that uh, pocket dragon, that one works with A4. Uh, but yeah, the darkness dragon, not at all. Uh, Sayalada Ready asks, Boys, do you have a Discord server? Yes, um, it's Origami Dan. And uh, if you DM me on Instagram, I'll send you an invite link. We currently don't have a public invite link because there is like some hackers and scammers that were coming in. So um, we have it closed off and um, all you need to do is be over the age of 13. And so just let me know, you know, if you are or aren't and um, I'll send you an invite. Uh, if you don't have Instagram, you can email me as well. My email is it's somewhere on my YouTube channel or on my website. Um, you can probably find that pretty easily. Um, but yeah, so I've never managed to finish any of them. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, Darkness Dragon is, it's a, it takes a lot of time for sure. It's complex. Jesse, why does it seem like origami is male dominated? You know, that's a good question because what's funny is actually at conventions and in the origami USA membership, it's female dominated. Um, and the age range is like over the age of 50 is the, and female is the uh, demographic. Um, so I think it's very diverse. I think a lot of the online presence happens to be um, male for some reason. I, I'm not sure. I think there's a lot of social science you could do to probably find out why. I have no idea why that is. Um, but there are some female and Maybe they're just not as present online, but you can find them. Um, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool. There is more. 
but yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly why, <laughs> why that is, but it does seem that way sometimes for sure. Um, um, and I don't, I don't agree. I think, uh, girls actually like it a lot from the artistic perspective and even some of the complex stuff too. Like, uh, uh, Kara, my friend Kara, she is the biggest origami cr uh, creator on TikTok with like 2 million followers. And she does all sorts of origami. She does crafts, paper modulars, and complex stuff like Ancient Dragon and even has started to design. So, you know, it's it's, it's hard to say. Um, I, I don't know what the exact answer is, but um, I think... Um, yeah, just people, more people need to know about it. The more people that know about it, the more we get. Um, doesn't really have to matter who you are. It just, uh, if you're interested or not. Um, uh, if you're 13, you can be 13. Um, so Drayden, you can join. At age 13 or older is the uh, requirement. Sorry, I think I might have said older than age 13. But uh, if you're 13 or like 14, 15 or older, um, just if you're 12, you can't. But if you're 13, that's okay. So you can feel free to ask me for an invite on Instagram as well. I'll send that over. Now, if you are 13, just be respectful for people there. You know, um, there's a wide age range of people. So just be respectful while you're there and then you'll be good to go. 13 can join. So if you're 13, you can join. Yes, you can. Sloppy has managed to get one into it. Hey, there you go. Excellent job. You are, you're helping share origami. That's great. Uh, what paper do you recommend to get in India? Yes. So I have a website. Uh, Mark, can you drop the link for the skill issue quiz? Because um, that has links for double tissue, which is what I'm using now. Um, the materials on how to make it for yourself. I have that linked um, online for for India specifically. So you, I think you, there's a question that asks what region of the world you live in. And if you click India, and you can answer the rest of the questions, but you don't have to. Uh, and just submit that. It'll give you links to get those products and paper. Um, if you want to use other papers besides that, you can ask some of the other Indian folders if they use other papers. Uh, and they might be able to share what stores they get it from. But other otherwise, I'm not too knowledgeable on that end. Um, the Etsy link is only for America, I think. I don't think that link will ship to India. But um, that's the paper. That's where I bought the papers. So I didn't I didn't make this double tissue. I, I can make double tissue, but this one I bought. Um, and it's really good. <laughs> but yes, that's correct. Etsy link does show at least that double tissue. Oh, there's an option. Okay, cool. Oh, well, maybe he can send it. I'm not too sure how that works. Uh, but yeah, you can check it out. But that other link that Mark just put in is going to show you how to make or the materials to make it, which that will be a lot cheaper probably. As one, you don't have to do shipping, international shipping. Um, and the, the price per paper is a lot less because you get like a, I don't know, like a 10-pack or something like that, which you have to make it, but still, it's, you know, it's, you get 10 for whatever dollar amount it is comparative. Okay, so that's still kind of drying. Um, you can see that the web has dried a lot more, so it's holding together pretty well. Uh, I think I still need this bottom one just to support it. And it's looking a little bit less. <laughs> it still looks kind of like frog legs, but a little bit less. And then I need it to um, go into the body a little bit like this. And face this way. I think the next thing I'm going to do is angle the legs here. So what I can do is get it wet on this side. And we're not going to do a closed back on this. Um, we just don't have the time to shape that out. 
So that's kind of okay. Closed back is where there's like, um, instead of having this back with the layer showing, we fold something to hide it or close it up for shaping. Maybe add details, maybe not, but um, we're not gonna do that. On this one, we just don't have time. Or maybe space too. I didn't. I didn't plan for it. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna blow dry this. A lot of Indian people are joining origami. I love that. Yeah, I think I think India right now is probably having the greatest increase in origami folders. So that's really cool. Um, I think it's awesome that a lot of people from India are liking origami and are getting into a lot of complex stuff. Like, like yeah, that that's that's super cool. I'm ex excited for one day. Maybe there's a Indian origami convention. That'd be neat, right? Drayden, gotta go take care of my chicken and I'll be showering. It. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I should still be streaming. Go take care of your chicken. That sounds good. Yeah, I think in terms of like my viewership, uh, people who watch my YouTube channel, I think the number two or three country is India um, in terms of population. So uh, that's changed over the years too. It wasn't like that originally, but in the past like three years, India has crept up in that population. So that's, that's cool. <clears throat> that's super cool. All right, so that's going to need to take quite a little bit to dry. <clears throat> um, Jesse said one. Not too sure what the one was referencing. All right, we are at 9996 subscribers. So we need four more subscribers for 10,000. Um, what if I keep streaming until we hit 10,000 and then hopefully and then, and then it never happens and then I stream forever. Lol, that'd be funny. Um, never mind. Okay, no problem. Does tissue paper treated with MC work as good as mulberry paper or unreal paper? Um, oh, ooh, that's a good question. Uh, it has it's like there's plus and minuses. So it's better for some things and not as good for other things. So I think, um, um, generally you can do almost anything with double tissue, but like a lot of reugens recently are double tissue, not Wenjo or Unryu. I, I even did mine from single tissue, uh, which don't, don't do that. <laughs> do double tissue at a big enough size. Um, uh, the, the main downside comparatively, I think, is it's a little bit less stretchy. So when I'm getting it wet, it's going to, like, t if I pull it, it's more likely to tear. Whereas something like uh, Wenjo or Mulberry, you can kind of stretch it. And um, maybe this isn't a good example. I can't find an area where I would be need to stretch the paper at all. Um, but... Uh, to do some of that sort of tension, um, this this has a slight harder time. Um, but but generally, it's I mean it's you can it's hard to hit the limit of double tissue. Like double tissue is just such a great paper um, for so cheap. I, I think some unreused might be a little bit thinner. Oh, so that's the thing. Insects. Insects is probably where you would start to find some of the differences. I think uh, Unryu can be thinner. I know there's some like 10 GSM ones and obviously double tissue is around 20 GSM. That's the thickness. So it's it's already going to be a little bit thicker um, for, for some models, but that's only if you get into like the really crazy ones um, that you start running into problems like centipedes or 
uh, ones that have either a bunch of thick legs or legs from the middle of the body that are super thick and stuff. Tissue vapor doesn't have fibers. Right, yeah. So that that's why it's less flexible, less stretchy, is because it doesn't have those fibers that can stretch without tearing. Um, boys, how many girls did you have before? The stream's getting a bit s sad. Hopefully it's not too sad. Um, you look like you have two girls at the same time. Thank I, I I think that's a I guess that's a compliment. Thank you. Um I've only had one before. Mark, give me a moment. I'll get four more accounts. Hey, Mark is Mark is a, a homie. No, I'm just kidding. Thanks, Mark. Um Yeah, sorry. Sometimes when um I have to let it dry, there's there's not as much going on. But here's what it looks like face up. And it actually looks even more like a frog right now. Uh, I think we could probably do the neck, or we can start on the neck a little bit just to thin it out. Because um, I think we need to take just an account of how long and big the neck and face is going to be, and then the body, and then we might actually have to make the legs even shorter, which would be okay. Uh, we don't have to make them longer, but um, the body is actually pretty short now that I'm looking at it. But... Yeah. Look like Gara with black hair. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, Gar Gara is a cool character. And uh, apparently popular with the female population. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, I am not as uh, in as such of a position. As Gara, but th thank you. That's a that's a compliment for sure. Gara from Boruto. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, uh, what is Gara? I haven't seen Gara in Boruto. Does he does he have longer hair? Like me now? I gotta Google this. Oh snap! His hair is like less spiky. It's and it has like the, I think if I if I put my hair like like that, <laughs> in Boruto. All right, not not quite because it's, so. <laughs> that's that's funny actually. I I see it. I I need like the the makeup around the eye, right. I like it. I like the spiky hair better though. Um, <clears throat> maybe, maybe I should get some spiky hair. No, I'm just kidding. I need a, I need a haircut though. My hair is getting too long. Um, let's see, Jesse asked when shaping with MC, are there rules like gluing flaps together? Um, no, not really. Um, if you don't want to, that's like, it's like a personal choice. Um, the MC won't really glue the flaps together. It can kind of, but it's more like just retreating the paper in place or retreating them onto each other. But the, the thing that I say, um, makes it not really like gluing flaps together is the fact that you can undo it and because you can undo it or unfold it, um, on like a technical level that kind of th means it's not like gluing something permanently together a lot of times the glue is more permanent but even there's also glues that aren't as permanent which you can almost do the same thing um just not as easily and it's it's totally fine so I, it's just personal preference um whether you want to or not want to um uh, but for this one since it's kind of a competition model and i like to this is like wet folding almost where it has to get wet you push it into place and let it dry uh, that's what I find fun. So that that's that's the 
the technique I like to use. I find it very enjoyable. Shave my oh yeah, that's he's also missing eyebrows now that I'm realizing it. So I need to like shave my eyebrows and then and then have really dark eyeliner and I'll look like Gara. Um you know if I ever dress up, maybe that's what I should dress up as. If I go to like an anime convention or something like that. Thinking I can do something like this and it'll be okay for now just because the one flap is like way too wide normally. And then we'll shape out the head from here. Do you have Unreal or Mulberry paper? I do. Um so Wenjo rice paper is made from Kozo fibers, which is a type of mulberry paper. It's just, uh, right, it's very short fiber. There's no raw fiber or long fibers. So it looks a little different. And then it's mixed with some other stuff. Um, it's not actually rice paper. Um, it's not made from rice. Um, this one, this one was made from short short fiber mulberry and i think it's an american mulberry tree so it's a little bit different it's a it's a bit thicker um it's like 1.5 times the thickness of this rice paper of uh, the wenjo rice paper and i then i put uh orange tissue paper on top of it to color it so it's like a it's 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 mulberry tissue it's not double tissue it's mulberry tissue right um so that's what this one is and that's also a mulberry. And then the what people normally think of mulberry is the ones with the long fibers through it. Um, I have I have a lot of those. Is I use I used to like only use that paper because that's all I could get for a cheap price. But um, here's an example of that. This is designed by Joker. His name is Joker on Twitter. It's a Rathalos. It's a flying wyvern with a lot of pleats, which is really cool. And you can see in the wings, right, there's the long fibers. Um, let me see if you can. Yeah, like that. So that's that's those long fibers, right, um, which is pretty cool. It works for as a texture for some models really well. Not for others, but... At least for that one, it works pretty well, I'd say. Looks pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that one's fun. Um, boys ignoring my girlfriend. Call. Sorry, I'm trying to fold, so sometimes I miss the comment. Um, let me see. I left origami for a while. You know, I had board exam stuff. I'm in 12th grade now. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, uh, where's the last girlfriend comment? Um, so I don't have them anymore. Uh, let me read. Sorry, I, I think I missed some stuff. So, oh, some papers. Gotcha. Well, yeah, once you're done with your board exams, right? Maybe you can get back into some origami. Shingnara has them. Uh, oh, he had board exams too. Oh, I see. Oh, Aaron, Aaron Mulberry paper, I think. Yeah, okay. Tissue by Aaron B. Amazon from Amazon Prepared Double Tissue. Nice, nice. Um, oh, I, I seriously don't have a girlfriend. Sorry. I'm equally as disappointed. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, were you able to make any complex insects? Yeah, the, um, I think this, not as good. The red paper would be good for insects. Um, you can get it colored in black, um, and that would work well. Um, this would not work well. This one's way too thick. Uh, let me see if I have uh, the centipede I did. Um, so 
I can talk a little bit more because right now I just I have to hold this still while it dries. So while I do that, I'll try to grab stuff and answer questions. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I couldn't find the ones I did from the black paper, but this is one I did from the white paper. This is the ultra thin one. So I have the example of this on my website under the, I think the complex origami papers. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a complete mess on the underside, but from the top, it looks pretty cool. Um, this is designed by Jacob S. Um, I think his name on Instagram is either Dirge of Dreams or Aether Dawn. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, Jacob S. is his real name. Um, it's a Scudagira or a house centipede. And uh, actually there's a variant of it, I think in um, somewhere in Southeast Asia maybe or in Brazil where they live in caves and they're almost this big. They're like a little bit smaller. They're like that big but they're pretty scary <laughs> um the big ones because the big ones can bite you the smaller ones can't but if the big ones bite you it apparently hurts pretty badly uh so yeah i mean and it just looks creepy in general too mark made a post hopefully i asked you four more oh thank you mark the best the best moderator question mark um oh we're close but thank you, thank you. Let me um. I'll I'll check it out in a little bit. I'm gonna, I I don't know where my phone went. <laughs> I put it somewhere. And it's 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 around. Looks cool. Thank you. Um. Let's see, did I miss anything? Double tissue is bad for in it's, um, it's not bad for insects. It's a little bit more difficult for insects. You can do complex ones, but you you can't do this one. So this would be too crazy. Um, let me see if I have any double tissue insects. It's been a long time because I don't do insects as much anymore. But like a lot of beetles are okay as long as they don't have spikes. Um, Ah, okay. I found one. This is an old design, actually. This is a, uh, um, I forget what kind of spider this is. Um, I forgot the name, but it's a, uh, it's really cute actually. And this is, this is from double tissue. This is from a small piece of double tissue. I think it was like, uh, 23 centimeters or maybe 24 centimeters. And then it's like a 32 grid probably, or maybe a 24 grid. Um, I forgot I designed this actually. This is a long time ago. Shangnara did a flying kabutamushi with single tissue. Yeah. Oh, single tissue is great for insects. Yeah. And if you go to Shangnara's Instagram, just search up that name, Shangnara Origami, and look at his fold because it's really good. Um, and it's huge <laughs> as well. So go take a look at that for for insects, because yeah, it's uh, it it works for sure. About to hit 10k. Let's go. I want to party. Oh yeah, I want to party too. That sounds fun. Um, four four more still. I think. Oh, three more. Three more. We're at nine 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 seven. Wild. So Mark, your post worked. It, we we got one. We're getting there. Yeah, single tissue works. It's a little bit hard to treat single tissue, but if you can practice and get used to it, um, you'll you'll be good to go. 
Show to sub count on stream. Okay, let me let me try to set that up. I think I can let this go. It's like not fully dry, but um smooth the dragon out of the way. And oh I can reach my keyboard. Um where is the button here? So instead of the image, maybe we can have Google Chrome. And then let's crop it to the sub count. Ah, uh, there you go. Shrink it down just a little bit. There you go. Can you see that? And uh, that should be live, or I just have to refresh the page a couple bit. I'm not using the, uh, I forget what it's called, the other tracker thing because I think I gotta I don't want to watch the ads on it while the stream's going I'll get you three wait a minute oh thank you y'all are the best 10k party yeah you you all are here you're here for the moment that we hit that's exciting And it'll be, I think YouTube saves the live chat. So it'll be documented forever that y'all were here. Um, I share this with my cousins, 43. Oh, thanks, Shang Dara. You're, oh my goodness. That's, uh, Shang, did you use Airbnb tissue from Amazon to make the flying Kabuto Moshi? Okay, I'll let, I think Shang Dara is getting his cousins. Massive respect. Thank you so much. Um, and they'll, they'll be able to answer that, I think. In the meantime, I'm going to blow dry this a little bit so it dries just a little bit faster. Human or bird or Pokemon? <laughs> uh, it's a frog, right? No, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, it's Spider-Man, but upside down. Um, it's hard to tell right now, but what is it? Yeah, we're, we're trying to do Spider-Man. Um, it's in this early phases, so it doesn't quite look like it yet, but it's going to be upside down on the web. I have to shape the legs a little bit better. I think, um, you can kind of see the concept like that. And then his arms will be like here. Looks interesting. Yes. It's not very good yet. But uh, it's going to take time for it to to start looking okay. Should I know use butter paper and treat it like single tissue? Yeah, it's kind of single tissue. Same thing, but not from Amazon. Ah, I see, I see. Butter paper. Did you did you get that from like a local store? Um, or is that something you could find online as well? I imagine with the, uh, the Ambi... You probably has to combine uh, some of the sheets next to each other to make it large enough. We got two subs. Thank you. Okay, we're going to refresh. Let's see. Oh, that's it. 10,000 subscribe. Oh, my goodness. We hit it. Look at that. Oh, that's crazy. 10,000? Yo, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for watching, too. Like, y'all got to see this live with. Ah, oh, wow. That's crazy. That's actually nuts. Party time. Let's go. We can drink water, except I'm out of water now. But the party. <laughs> ah, that's crazy. Oh, my goodness. All right. So that means the, the tutorial, after the paper tutorial comes out, Will be reflecting another model here. 
this is going to be the tutorial. It's going to, except without the sword, but the swords is the easy part. You don't need to know the sword. You just need to know all this crazy stuff and the head. And we're going to have tutorial for that. And it's going to be a really long tutorial probably because faces are really hard. Um, and so are hoods for the hood seems like it would be easy, but it's really hard for some reason. Um, it's not really hard. It's just weird. Um, but that's going to be a tutorial. That's exciting. Oh my goodness. We get 10,000 subscribers. Whoa. That's like, Hey, we're, we're a 10th of the way to our silver play button, right? We're still a far ways off of it, but a 10th of the way. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you, everyone, so much. Uh, all these past years. Some of you have been here for multiple years watching me, you know, plug away at YouTube from measly couple hundred subscribers into a, you know, thousand. And then now 10,000. Whoa. That's crazy. My goodness. I can't believe it. So deserved. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Vitamin S. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Vishwajit. Thank you, Salada. Thank you, Mark, of course, being an amazing moderator and friend. Um, Sangnara, you've been here supporting me a long time. Long, long time. Oh, thank you, everybody. Scream at the top of my lungs. I can't do that. I got uh, neighbors sleeping. Uh, you're, you're fine. They're gonna, get, they're gonna get mad. I said a bad word. I don't think I said a bad word. I normally don't. Um, outro. Let's go. Um, you get there soon. Don't worry. Yeah. Hey, silver play button. One day. That'd be pretty cool. You know. Um, now it's time for ten. 10,000 people to raid boys. Yeah, that's right. Now they got to come to my house and, and then we can all party and, and we'll be all like this up against each other. Cause there's no way they can fit. <laughs> I'll let your neighbors know. Oh, that's so good. Live outro for this stream, please. Oh, you want me to sing the outro? Oh, snap. Okay. I'll, I'll try. I'll try for you, Mark. Oh, not you boys. Oh, okay. Okay. I was like, I hope I didn't say it. Maybe if you, I was too excited. <laughs> so I didn't realize it. My bad, my bad. Um, we'll take turns. There you go. Screaming. My goodness, 10,000. We did it. You know, that was the goal for this year, and we, we hit it in April. So we got, you know, eight more months to just keep passing the year's goal. Or to set a new goal, you know? That's really exciting. My goodness. I'm like, not even focused on the origami anymore. <laughs> I'm just looking at the... Whoa. That's that's wild. Yeah. React like speed. <laughs> oh, that? Uh, this, what, speed like jumps out of his chair too, right? Runs around. Takes off his shirt to reveal another shirt underneath and stuff. I, I don't have that prepared. I <laughs> Unfortunately. Crazy. Close it. The door is closed, but it, it is not soundproof enough. Like my wall behind me, we got a neighbor over there. That ain't gonna work. It's okay. It's okay. We'll we'll save the screams. We'll save the hype. I think, you know, we're all we're all hype out here. I'm just super thankful for all of you. And we are chilling. Whew. I feel a lot more awake now, at least. <laughs> That's crazy. It is in the middle of the night, too. You're so weak. <laughs> it's not me that's weak. It's the people around me that's weak. <laughs> Origami Addict123. Hello. Call them to and force them to fold. Oh, true. I think they'd be very confused. <laughs> like why'd you wake us up full origami hit 10k uh what's the best thing they'll do oh i don't want them to get mad they're they're really nice and um they're they're you know on the elderly sides i don't i don't want to get them upset it's okay it's okay we, we're chilling we're chilling it was in the daytime and 
they were out and at work or something like that, it'd be a little different, but it's okay. <laughs> let the town know. Don't worry. I'll let the social medias know. We'll, we'll make a small, a small thank you post or a small thank you story or something like that. And, and then announce the tutorial that's going to be incoming soon. That's going to be pretty fun. You want to see me scream? Nah, nah, nah. That's not me. That's not me. <laughs> You'll play with me real bad. Oh, don't threaten me. That's not very nice. Nah, we're chilling. We're very excited, but it's good stuff. <laughs> That's fun. All right. We, we do have to keep folding, though, because I've got one more day to be working on this. Let's do it. Yes, let's keep folding. That is some good stuff. All right. All right, I'm going to take the sub count. We, we made it. Sub count over. Let's take this off for now. Got the little excitement out. We're chilling. That's the wrong photo. Um, this one is the tab. All right. Whew. We're back in business. All right, refresh the channels. Oh, did you did you drop me back down? That's okay. We we hit the Okay, we're at 9999 right now. Um That's okay. We'll we'll we'll, we'll be making it back. I think um on on average it, it goes up at least once an hour. So <laughs> we'll be chilling. We'll be chilling. Here here. I'll I'll show it for you. I'll show it for you. We are no longer at 10,000. We we are one off. But <laughs> Why did I stop uploading for a while? Um, uh, when? Uh, I'm not sh Let's see. I don't think I ever took too long of a break. Um, yeah, I've been posting at least two videos a month. Two or three, sometimes four. Um, maybe a few years ago, it was less frequent because I was finishing school oh you can just see the public and monetization you can't see anything else here that's funny um how do i switch this so you can see uh uh that doesn't work oh well you don't need to see you can just go to my channel and see what videos i posted um i've been i think i've been posting enough um but yeah when i was in college so i finished a master's degree in computer science and that was really stressful i think some of you mentioned you just had board exams right so I was in a similar position as you. Uh, I think master's degree, you have a thesis and exams and some other papers and projects to turn in. So, um, you know, you, you know, you know how it is. Uh, so it was, it was hard to upload during that time, but I tried, I did like, I think it was maybe like five that year total, which is not that great, but once every two months, but now we've been cooking with the videos, um, recently. I think this year alone we have what like almost 10 not including live streams maybe or i've done a lot of live streams so maybe even more yeah we're chilling what's my age i am in my 20s i'm not gonna say my exact age in case someone tries to dox me later on <laughs> but um i'm in my 20s and i'm i'm done with university i'm done with a master's so you know you can uh, around a couple of years plus or minus um oh mark joining the membership oh my goodness thank you so much mark look at that oh my goodness you are so awesome let me add you to the uh well, actually i think you can add yourself to the members discord so there's a special discord for the members um, the, the, the free one is the origami, Dan, that, that one's the one for free. And then the, uh, members only one is different. Um, but Mark, you have access to that now. Thank you so much. You were waiting for this moment. Congrats all oh, dude. Thank you so much. Um, enjoy your time in the membership too. There's some fun people there. Um, and some fun crease patterns. I think you've seen a lot of them already, Mark, but there might be one or two that you haven't seen yet. So, and there's diagrams there too. I think I got, I got a double, I got to fact check my own discord, but enjoy. That's also kind of an advertisement as members. Um, so if you, if you have extra cash, you know, those of you who are studying right now, 
don't worry about it too much. But if you have some extra and would like to support the channel, you do get quite a lot of benefits uh, from being a member. And that's pretty cool. Oh, look, and, and you get the emotes. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, flex those emotes, Mark. That's some good stuff. All right. Are we, oh, we're back at 10,000. I missed that one slightly. Did I miss that one? Okay. We're, we're at 10,001. Sweet. We're, we're going up. Hey, that's a nice number, too. Look at that. It's the same back and forth. It's about time I leave now. Oh, dude. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Vishwaji. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly as well. I apologize if I'm not, but thanks for hanging out. Throwing a good vibe, fun vibe, you know? Uh, I don't think anyone's asked me about girlfriends before, so, or not as many questions <laughs> about them before. So, you know, thanks for having fun and stopping by. And I hope you have a, a great rest of your day. I think it's probably the middle of the day for you right now. But <laughs> um, call me Vishu if you want. Great. That sounds good. I will try to remember that. Vishu. So next time I see you in stream, I'll make sure to know. And I, I don't think I'll scream. You know, maybe, maybe one day. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I might have to hit 100,000 first, you know, to... To channel my inner uh, speed, um, <laughs> I show speed kind of vibes, or like S XQC vibes. SQC scream or Tyler. Tyler one, he screams a lot. Uh, I'll have to do some some research and study up on that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yo, bro. Hey, uh, S H F Q. How's it going? We are streaming right now. Okay, so when it the legs are posed like this, it looks a lot less like a frog. <laughs> but if I turn it this way, it starts to look like a frog again. Um, and there's like a little extra bit right here. Let me actually fold this underneath. Uh, and then that kind of places our hips. But what I do need to do is thin the body out because right now the body is really wide. And like Spider Man's strong, but he's not this wide. Um, so we need to adjust that. We kind of have the framework for the head. There's a lot I can do here um, for the face. I, I think I might skip this whole flap. Like, I think it's just too big to you. Or I might be able to do like a small detail with it, but um, overall, the head needs to be a lot smaller. Uh, but that's something we can worry about a little bit later. Now for now, we can take a look at the body. We have like this whole thing to shape with. So I'm going to first thin. Maybe this can be like the, the top of his pecs and we can do some details there. Um, but let's shape this part out. So I'm going to get it wet a little bit so it'll stay in place when it dries. In my opinion, save the screen for 100K. True. And it probably won't be live either because um, I need to get a good quality screen without destroying people's ears. You know, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to think about it. Uh, I'm, I'm not the type of person to scream, really. I don't think I've screamed in. I, I can't remember the last time I screamed, actually. Um, you know, maybe uh, someone scared me and I screamed, but I, I can't even remember that. So I, I think generally you can tell I'm relatively mild tempered or uh mild voiced so i don't i don't activate the uh that kind of level of volume very often for a scream all right so you can kind of see what we're doing or maybe you couldn't see what we're doing here but i'm kind of squeezing in to get kind of the body shape um, so the head is like uh, way too big at the moment. So we're going to try to ignore that. I'm just trying to compare the torso with like the legs and hips at the moment. Um, and I definitely want him to look strong. So we're leaving most of the chest that wide, but this torso area has to be contoured down a um, little bit. And then this is the web, which will hide more in the back later. I think I might need to go all the way. I only put in half to here, but I think we're going to have to go all the way to make it work. But All 
Oh, Vishu said, I missed that one. He said, not weird. You have a girlfriend and I'm going to find it out soon. <laughs> That's funny. Um, you know, I maybe <laughs> but next time, I, don't, I don't know. I don't I don't see it happening. Uh, Sag. That's OK. We have origami. We, we, we can we we have other things to focus on right now. <laughs> Yeah, if, if I ever stop posting as frequently, then maybe uh, <laughs> you'll know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Origami is love. Origami is right. Life. That is correct. That is correct. What a reference. So uh, very true vitamin S. Right, so let's see. How's it looking? Not bad. I think it's hard for origami people to be loud considering the amount of time we spend relaxing, doing a relaxing hobby. Usually recommended for people with anxiety issues. Yeah, I think you're exactly right, Mark. And if it's not like traditional anxiety, it's um, social anxiety or any other form, <laughs> right? Something, something along those lines. We're, we're just not built for <laughs> for that. So true. Yeah. Yeah. I think we all relate here, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did I miss again? Oh, snap. You're back. We hit. Check this out. Uh, Drayden, let me pull up the thing again. Boom. We hit 10,000 subscribers. That is absolutely crazy. And we had a, a, a little mini excitement party. As that happened, um, and now we're still shaping, and it looks less like a frog. We did it! Yeah, we did it! Let's go! It happened during the stream. That is really special. So that is super exciting, and this is archived, so people later can see it. You can see all of y'all here. You'd be like, "Oh man, I I missed a stream. Too bad I wasn't there when to see." Uh, the channel hit 10k but you'll see everyone else chatting here They're like oh those people were here yeah <laughs> yeah thank you thank you so much we did we did do the thing we did done do the thing craziness um and now yeah right now we are Working on making this le look less like a frog. Um, so that's going as well. I think the legs can be at this angle. And then when they are like this, it's going to look more like Spider-Man's pose. You know, oftentimes when I do action poses, I try to replicate it myself. Like if it's holding a sword, I try to. So then I kind of know what it feels like, what muscles are activating. Um, so I know where to focus on um, with shaping. Uh, the Spider-Man one, I can't, I can't hang upside down from a web or a rope, so that's a no-go for this. So I'm, I'm kind of just guessing like which way the hips have to be for him to actually be like hanging on correctly. Uh, but it's kind of strange. Just bought one of the diagrams for OBB Comp Five. Ooh, thank you, thank you for that. So you're both supporting me and the designer of that competition. So thank you very much for the support, Sloppy Bobby. Um, I think you're going to enjoy those diagrams. So have have fun folding for shirt. Oh, that does look more like Spider-Man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're slowly getting there. And the I think the head, <laughs> right, not being that flap also kind of helps. Because um, like when it was just like that, it was like, yeah, that's a frog. We have bragging rights to say we were there to see it. Yeah, exactly. You have bragging rights. Is it? It's only happening once, right? the 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 next the next milestone is at a uh, hundred hundred k. I mean, there's smaller miles like fifty k is kind of big too, but a hundred k is the next like big big one, besides ten k, which is crazy. I can't believe it. Ten k. That's wild. That's actually wild. Okay, so this leg is like really weak right now. Um, so I'm gonna need it to dry. It 
it's going to dry in this pose. I need it to be here, but I'm going to let it dry like this first so that I can shape the rest of it. Because if I were to try to force it this way, it's just going to collapse in the leg because it's too weak. So I can't do that yet, but I can work on the other leg a little bit. So backside of this leg while the other one dries. That's one thing about uh, wet shaping with MC is because there is some additional time. If you brush it, a lot of times you get the paper all wrinkly and stuff, and that does not look very good. Um, so it requires some some extra patience because it's like even if you want to work on the stuff, you have to wait to work on it, which is really hard to do sometimes when you just want to fold. Uh, but it's it's good, you know, good patience practice. Oh, that pose the tail your. Uh, folding uh, P2 from Hunter Hunter, aren't you? <laughs> oh snap! I didn't get that far into. Let me let me look this up. Did I get that far? Am I just forgetting? I don't think I got that far in Hunter Hunter to know that character yet. I did not. Chimera Ant arc. No, I'm like right before the Chimera Ant arc. I do not know this character. But oh, I see what you mean, Mark. If uh, it could be a, a cat girl. If this is a tail. Oh, man. Maybe we should have done a cat girl. That would have been interesting. Uh, next time. Next time. I certainly would not win the competition by making a cat girl. But that's okay. Um, where is the display? There you go. Too late for cat. Yeah, a little too late for the cat. We're, we're kind of locked into this. Well. Technically. Technically, we could do cat girl. Hmm. But no, I think we're going to do Spider-Man. <laughs> We'll we'll save the cat girl for more uh, more details and more more serious kind of, you know we, we can't just lightly do a cat girl we got to do a serious cat girl if you know what I mean <laughs> I don't I don't know what I mean <laughs> I have no idea what I mean <laughs> but uh I I need to thin this out I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Um, but because there's a hinge like right in there, it makes way more sense to pull this all the way through and let it naturally hide in the center on its own. Please, no cat. It looks good. Yeah, no, don't worry. We're not. We're not doing the cat. <laughs> well, well, don't worry. <laughs> Serious cat girl, voice Wong, April 20th. You heard it here first. If we do a cat girl, it's got to be serious. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hopefully I can finish or get the motivation and finish. To wow, I could not read. Hopefully I get the motivation to sub finish and submit by the deadline, before the deadline. Um, yeah, you have another month, I think. So hopefully that's plenty of time. Um, and if you need like a one day extension, just let me know. Uh, we can do a one day extension. Probably not more than that, but uh, generally the uh, judges don't finish judging right on that first day so if you get it in like a little bit after the, the deadline it's kind of okay try not to but uh um just let me know yeah that turtle's fun though <clears throat> it's a really unique diagram set so I did the calf on the other side. I have the same issue. I need to let it dry a bit more um, before I can 
fold it down, but I do actually want this to be a bit more of an aggressive angle first. So it's like curl this in just ever so slightly so that that can rest against the leg. And then let's get it on the inside and then hold it there for a bit. I think we have to blow, break out the blow dryer just a little bit more just to get the initial part to dry. That's what the paper I posted a few hours ago is for. Gonna start folding tomorrow. It should have played awesome. That sounds good. I am excited for it to see more people's folds of that competition model. It's it's seriously really cool. Um, and I think people are going to have fun doing it too. When I turn my phone upside down, the model looks like a man being impaled. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's got to hurt. <laughs> But you're not wrong. Oh, my eyes. Okay. I can't unsee it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can't unsee it either. Uh, once we get the arms involved, it'll look it'll look better. Actually, no matter what, I think from this way up, it's gonna look bad. <laughs> it's gonna look really weird. Uh, but that that's okay. Uh, we're just gonna look at it from this way. <laughs> you have an interesting imagination. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Just a lot. I think it's dry enough now on this side that I can. Force it down a little bit. Got it to really lock in. You know, actually, we could have done also done like a spear, impaling them through, um, through the back, and use one of the middle flaps to make it look like it's going through them. That would have been cool as well. That would have been probably a lot harder to tr communicate, but not a bad idea. It would be super cursed though to do it like like this and <laughs> fail that way. <laughs> like technically we could have done that too, but I think I'd be breaking my own um, Discord's terms of service with uh, kind of an obscene <laughs> post. All right, I gotta go. Congratulations, thank you, Jesse. Thanks for sticking around, asking some great questions, and just hanging out, and for seeing the ten thousand subscriber mark. Have a good one. <laughs> Why would a kid not have things like that in their mind? It's a fair point. The tropical nature says no. Yeah, you agree. <laughs> Oh yeah, another small plug for the uh, Discord or YouTube membership. Um, I don't know if you play Minecraft, Mark, but the there's a server <laughs> for the OBB members that not really many people play on too much, but uh, but it's there. So if you play Minecraft, you can join the Minecraft server. Um, <laughs> uh, just very random perk of. Uh, joining an origami youtube channel membership is uh minecraft because uh yeah <laughs> of course right of course of course minecraft it will uh never not be here somehow <laughs> Okay, so we have a lot of things kind of set in stone. 
we have some like we're getting to more of the final pose shaping um, where a lot of stuff starts to come together now what we don't have is still a lot of the structural stuff done so we don't have any shaping done on the arms um, I don't think the arms are gonna be very hard though uh, I think what I can do is actually just MC them a little bit so I can shape them in place I think the main important thing to MC is this unit just to get it kind of sitting in the right shoulder range and then we need to figure out what to do with this flap so I was like, is there a way for me to do a spider? Um, like if this was color change, I could do some pleats and open up like this and do some stuff like uh, maybe make a pattern. But we don't have, it's not color changed square, unfortunately. So I can't just start making legs like that or, or uh, uh, you can do like a, one of these things to, to make legs, but uh, um, where can we? We can, I think we can experiment a little bit with this flap. So, theory. If we, oh, I don't have another length to go here. I can do a half length, but I don't think that's quite enough to get like a full spider pattern out. Also, it kind of looks weird with that line going through. So I'm kind of game not to do that and do something else, but then what do we do? That's the real question. Um, I think this can just shape out into like, Spider-Man's muscles are very apparent through his costume. So we can just like round out these corners a little bit to start with. Move it one flap up and do some squashes like the square twist samurai. Oh snap. Uh, you know, you're not wrong. I think. Oh shoot, it has to be one higher. Um, let's see if we can do that. <laughs> Doesn't intersect with the Pythag. And it doesn't change the structure that much. So I think it's fair game. And if I don't do this actual square twist, I can change the angle to do like the cat eye. And that looks kind of like a, a superhero kind of thing. You've, you've got some good ideas there, Mark. Drayden, I do play Minecraft. That is why I am an uh, or gamer, origami and gaming combined into or gamer. Nice. Grant is an or gamer at. Yeah, that's true. Um, did you know, back in the day, I played Fortnite with Grant. He did a, I think he did a Fortnite live stream. It was either a Fortnite live stream or he was trying to make a video. I played Fortnite with Grant. Um, that was a long time ago. That was fun though. Those was good times, back in my Fortnite days. I was not very good at Fortnite, but uh, it was fun. <laughs> And I messed something up here. Why isn't this flap coming closed? I shift something I wasn't supposed to. Maybe. 
feels like I should do one more for some reason. Okay, maybe I did intersect with the Pythag and it's like just making it super wonky. Or because half of it is collapsed, it's like freaking out. Um, yeah, I think the Pythagorean's right there. That's okay. Um, yeah, and an angle similar to a spider logo. I think I'm pretty sure we can do that. No joke. Now, this one is not liking the angle that much, though. I feel like it should be fine. But... Oh, that's why. You have to do this. Which... Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Okay, so it's not perfect. I think we can... I think we can... Pull the flap. I might have like overcomplicated this for no reason. I think this flap was originally here anyway, so let me let me just reset really quick and uh, fix this so that I stop fidgeting with it. Oh, it's stuck with the MC. It's awkward. Uh, not too much of a problem. Oh, I see. It's under there. Um, okay, well, we can just do it like this then. So that should give us our square twist platform. And this, we just got to fold like that. And everything's okay. It's kind of not, but it's okay. <laughs> Changed a little bit more around. Not too much, but this is actually good because this can help us hide that like really awkward kind of, well, it might not, but at least it's there. Uh, but from here, we can do the square twist. Sorry about, like, I was quiet for a really long time. I was focused. Let me... Whew. Right, what are we doing? Uh, you can die to figure afterwards. It'll look cool. Oh, try. Yeah, I could give it, like, a little after paint. I think that's what Mayu did. Um, love to see. And Tropical Nature. Love to see how you correct these errors. It sometimes completely messes up my model or even worse, paper tears. Yeah, I think as you get experienced um, and, and start doing more complex origami, you get better at fixing mistakes because you have a better like awareness of where the creases actually are relative to all the flaps and stuff. So you can start recognizing like, oh, it's probably running into this thing. And then if I pull it this way, it would tear. So I just put it back and pull the flap out from a little bit below or something like that. Um, sloppy bye. I'm a head out. Congrats. Thank you so much. Bernie. Yo, Hey, I'm late. I did. I just, I did. I did check this out. I think I still have it open. Check it out. Actually, let's refresh to see if I still there. Oh yes, we are. Okay. Dope. Look at that. We went from nine, 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 four. This is what we started at. Uh, actually, today we were at nine 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 eight, like eight something. So we gained like twenty s subscribers today, which is pretty cool. Uh, kind of out of nowhere. Um, 
The last video I posted was like a couple days ago. So we started to just trickle in a little bit. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, we, we hit. It is pretty exciting. We did a little little mini party, kind of, you know, party. <laughs> dr drink some MC, you know? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's super exciting. We, we made it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yes, we did. That was super cool. And, and then now we're kind of back to folding. Um, there I was I kind of messed up, but we, we fixed it. <laughs> we saved it. And now we can do that idea that Mark had, I believe. So it's the square twist. Yeah, so I'm going to start it like the square twist, and then I can adjust it um, to kind of whatever. But let me just kind of crease in. And this square twist is not going to be like super precise, which is kind of fine. Going on to all my alt accounts and subbing to voice. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Drink some MC. It's all, all the topic came back up. Eat, drink it, it with an addition. I, I triggered a, a new combo. Drink MC and eat paper. That's, that's the, that's a, that's a, a double trouble right there. Your uh, liquid and physical digestion is about to be done, though. Actually, I'm. I think you can drink MC. Someone in the Discord did it, for who know, who knows why, but they tried it, and uh, they're still around. And it's it's technically a uh, food safe. I think the one I bought, food grade methyl cellulose. Not that you should. Please don't. It doesn't taste good. Um, or I, I assume it doesn't taste good. But then again, does alcohol taste good? No, but people still drink that. So, you know, maybe, maybe MC is just an alternative. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. So another small error we're fixing right here. That should make it a little bit more precise. Hopefully. Someone had to sacrifice themselves for science. Yeah, that's a good point. They did it. They had to find out for the rest of us. 07. Now you have like four more subs. <laughs> Yo. Refresh it. Hey, let's go. Thank you, Drayden. Hey, cheers, drinks MC. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, there's something wrong with you if you consider drinking. Yeah, I I agree. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. It's technically soup, but it's definitely not. Um, is it a soup? Put powder in, right? Technically, like. You heat up water, which you do for MC, and you add, like, salt, and you can get soup. <laughs> Basic soup. It's a soup, right? Maybe? Okay, so we have this. Can we turn this into kind of a spider? Um, or at least something that looks like it has legs. Uh, like, I might not even have to squash it. What if I just reverse fold this? Now, there's not enough of them to get, like, eight legs, but maybe we could at least just have, like, a pattern on the front. That's kind of spider reminiscent. Reminiscent? Is that the right word? Spider-like. <laughs> um, and if not, it can just be like a cool pattern. Um, unsure, unsure here. We're going to do this all the way around just to see, but I'm probably going to adjust it later. I don't think it should be symmetrical. And this corner is very misaligned. Let's fix it because it actually matters on this one. Uh, 
a little stuck. There you go. Uh, now, technically, it is a non-Newtonian fluid, but I guess it's wait. It, it, is it non-Newtonian? Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into that and consider. Hmm. Boy streams disclaimer: keep far away from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Illegal soup. Yeah, don't, don't keep away from the kids. Um. I do mark on YouTube that my videos are not meant for children. Uh, that that is a setting you have to select on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I think YouTube's technically their TOS is thirteen as well. Just like Discord. So we're getting in trouble today. It's the real question. Uh oh. All right. So can we make this now? Uh, this this kind of just looks like um, honestly, it looks like a quest marker, <laughs> or like a crosshair. Uh, it doesn't really look like a spider, but can we make it somehow look more spider-like? Maybe we can give it a body if we fold this corner down. The, the one thing is, like, we actually don't have eight legs, so it's kind of awkward. Um, we also just don't have a body. But it doesn't really have to be Spider-Man, because also copyright infringement. So um, we're making a, a arachnid hero. I don't know. <laughs> At least I'm not going to drink it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. I don't know, something like this, and then, um, can we swivel this under, like that, and same thing on the other side, and then push the whole thing in. Mark, this is square twist. <laughs> Save the day, folding paper, spreading origami culture. <laughs> That's right. Square twist, man. Da -da -da. completely butchered this square twist but <laughs> at least it looks like something right <laughs> that's that's copium right there some strong copium Um, origami really needs to be more popular. I agree. It's so much fun, right? And we have our own memes too. It's all you need, right? Memes and, and fun. Okay, so I think that is going to be our body. We're just going to deal with that. Again, what I like what I like to say is it's it's different. Um I I want to round out the body this way 
and then get the legs up or or maybe we get the legs up first and and round the body and have a uh, uh that flap just be better in somewhere I'm, I'm just gonna ignore it for now and try to make it not super awkward okay let's just fold it up <laughs> so it's out of the way um and then that way we can have our web come through. In my entire life, I only met three origamis and only one was an intermediate while the others were beginners. Yeah, that's like most, most origami folders will have that same story, which is crazy that like most of the population just hasn't met another person that does it. Cause like you think about other hobbies, like people who do art, maybe they did art class. So they already met people who draw or paint or they go to galleries and they've seen galleries. Or if you play sports, if you're on a, if it's a team sport, then you've met other people who, you know, you play on a team together, but origami, it's like, it's so niche that a lot of people for the first, you know, even like five years of them doing the hobby just hasn't met a single other person. Um, I think even the fact that I'm able to live stream is starting to change some of that because you get a little bit of an opportunity to talk with another folder, another complex folder. It's not the same as real life, but like even a few years ago, just this wouldn't be possible to have a real time interaction. And I wouldn't ha be able to have a real time interaction to like share thoughts or show my design. So it's, it's, it's we're progressing, but it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy that, you know, we just don't get to see as many of our people uh, in some sense as uh, other other hobbies get to. I think, um, yes, yeah, hard without conventions. Exactly. Like I'm very lucky to be able to attend conventions and see a lot of people, but that's a very small percentage of the community that gets to do that. I think one of the reasons we don't see many origamis might be that it's hard to take steps for, toward complex origami. Yeah, it's innately difficult as well, right? It's 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 innately difficult. There's a lot of uh, hard parts about origami. Um, uh, so, you know, that's very similar in a lot of hobbies that are innately hard, I think. Uh, where there's like a kind of a skill ceiling, at least for our I feel like origami is pretty easy to get into for simple stuff, but the stuff we do is really hard to get into, which is why there's not many. Um, like even just being able to do a little bit of the complex origami already p puts you in like the top 90% of folders, which is not a whole lot to start with anyways. So kind of crazy. But yeah, hopefully that changes. I mean, I think the population has started to grow again, especially with like the internet, um, just connecting more people. And I kind of like what we were talking about earlier, like or uh, India is starting to get a lot more folders. Uh, there's the Kagazi uh, magazine that was even was started by uh, a group of Indian uh, designers and uh, passionate folders. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So it, it's starting to grow. Still very small, but there's progress being made. As someone who doesn't do origami, I think I just never knew how detailed complex origami could get. I always just needed simpler folds. Yeah, yeah. It also just doesn't have much exposure, like in media. Uh, like e even if one of the origami pictures like kind of goes around, that's more complex. People probably just don't realize it's origami from walking past at a glance. Or, you know, just scrolling past Reddit and seeing it. They, they might just think it's like a paper art and not really realize it's origami until they, unless they actually like read the uh, <laughs> description or something. So there's it's not as much exposure. Um, Origami is like geometry dash. It's easy until it's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it gets hard pretty fast, right? It's hard pretty fast. You know, you, you're chilling, you're doing your cranes, you're doing some boxes, 
and then you see ancient dragon and you're like what is going on here i am doing a like, <laughs> what do i get myself into <clears throat> okay i'm going to methyl cellulose the back a bit and then also this little joint as you can see i've been turning it um now i've been turning it kind of messy so i'm going to unfold this a little bit so i can get it wet and then it'll stay put it's still gonna be a little bit messy but it's gonna be showing from the back which is totally fine uh we don't have to <laughs> recognize that no one's gonna see it except me um Yeah, it's the side of origami that's not popular among locals. Yeah, they don't even believe it's one paper. Although that's part of the magic. Like, I think that's what, or at least that's what I try to sell to non-origami people. Like, um, when I was when I make like shorts or TikToks or stuff like that, and I'm trying to target the non-origami community. Um, you know, I, I I use that as the oh, you know, this is one piece of paper. Can't believe it. Mind blowing. Kind of wow factor, and that kind of helps because. Like that uh, is really cool about origami for sure. Um, we can leverage that unique fact uh, to hopefully draw in some interest. I'm kind of realizing how awkward this looks <laughs> uh, without context. Oh, Yuho. Hey, good morning. Uh, I was right. I streamed long enough that you woke up and caught the stream. So uh, if anyone missed from the beginning, this model that I'm folding was designed by Yuho and Bodo. It's like a, uh, a collaboration. Um, yeah, good morning. So we have the designer in the chat. Looks like, looks like Yuho, you have some fans here. Um, of course, Yuho is an amazing, amazing designer. Really, really cool. Uh, Mark, fun part about having non-folders as close friends is that after meeting you for a while, they stop getting impressed by things that are bought. Right, yeah, they, they, they get the filter, right? They're like, oh yeah, that's probably one sheet because I know Mark and he does crazy stuff and crazier stuff. <laughs> that's true, you've, you've converted them, right? They might not fold, but they understand. Brittany, you should get hit him with the get. Oh, ah, hey, that's really good, Brittany. I, I didn't even think about that, even though it's should have been obvious. So yeah, have that question where it's it's like the bait and switch, right? You give all these red herrings for oh, it's cool, so it's probably only like two, but they have an option for like a hundred, you know, and then it's like oh, just kidding, it's one, it's one. Okay, I'm gonna have to utilize that in a TikTok format somehow. I'm gonna take that idea. We got Yuho. Sir Yuho has joined the chat. That is correct. Just finished a morning run. Oh, nice. Going out early morning run. That's good stuff. Going to pack up soon. So go into our cottage for the weekend. I see. Nice. So that's a little bit far out, I think, if I remember you were saying. I hope you enjoy that time at your cottage. Thanks for tuning into the stream a little bit. As you can see, uh, I've chosen a very unorthodox pose. <laughs> For my submission um we were deciding chat what to do and uh who was it that said spider-man was it um uh who was it i think was it gabe that said spider-man or someone mentioned spider-man and i was like you know we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do spider-man <laughs> so um it's not really Spider-Man. I couldn't do the actual spider in the center, but you, you can see the concept, right? The, uh, this, this, the Spider-Man web pose, um, is, is the goal. Around 35 kilometers away from the city I live at the moment. Oh, I see. Do you take a train or are you taking like a, a cab or have a car to drive that? Um, cause that's pretty far. Yeah, that's pretty far. <laughs> that's a good ways out. Um, def definitely can't run that, right? Uh, even biking that would be kind of long. 
It's Spider-Man from the Origami Multiverse Dimension. That's correct. Turn your screen upside down and you'll see something you'll never unsee. True. <laughs> not not incorrect. You know, David did a cool version of this poser. So if people in chat haven't seen this, he um there's a folder, I think his Instagram handle is now uh oh, what's his name? He's been folding a lot of Elden Ring and uh, Friendsoft characters. Um, but I think his name's uh, Mikhail. And he does hand balancing. And so David folded and shaped a hand balance version that like actually balances on the hand upside down. That one was a really cool uh, method. But yeah, this one is a... Have to take a car since there's no public... Ooh, ooh, I see. Gotcha, have to take a car. The design is a result of me and Bodo fooling around at Mayu's place to design something random. Nice. Oh, look how far it's come. It's uh, evolved into a, sp a Spider-Man. There you go, guys. That's the backstory, though. This is... Um, it's pretty cool. That's like a, a power trio right there. <laughs> you got two super cracked designers and a super cracked shaper. Um, all in the same room, same house. We asked Mayu what stuff you wanted to have designed, and then we went for it. Oh, that's genius. Yeah, well, I have Mayu's fold as the demo picture up right now, so uh, we can all see how nice that turned out to be. That was a excellent job in the collaboration, for sure. And... Now I'm I'm butchering it a little bit by doing this, but at least it's creative is is what I'm what is what I'm saying I'm I'm doing something different. Um, you know I don't I don't know if anyone's ever people have done Spider Man, but I don't think they've done Spider Man on a web upside down before. So um, it just looks really awkward right now <laughs> when it's not done. Like no matter what angle I put it at, it looks it looks terrible. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, at least upside down is it's not nearly as bad. But the stream is getting too legendary. Yeah, this stream is packed. A lot of things happen. Yeah, Yuho, um, the channel hit ten thousand subscribers on stream. That was a, a big highlight there for all the for me and the viewers, but especially me. Yeah, so that's it's my channel, of course. Um, internally freaking out. Uh, not not really anymore, but it's very cool. Super nice, yeah. You should try making Brian Chance Spider Man. Yeah, Brian's is crazy. I've had the pleasure of seeing it in person. Um. It's so cool. Uh, in person too. It's ridiculous. It's like, I even if I folded it, I don't. I couldn't shape it as well as Brian did. Brian. Brian is crazy. <laughs> he's he's really good. Like it looks so perfect. It's so round and three D, and spot on. Like the precision and handiwork is all there, and it's designed very well too. So like it's, it's such a great model in general but that's such a cool design um used a fairly large sheet of paper for that one so it's actually fairly large like the the spider-man's tall it's uh it's it's a little bit taller than this and this is already like uh it's around 20 centimeters close uh maybe a little shorter but brian's is like a little bit larger than 20 centimeters i think or right around that point and it's really round, like from the back. This one's okay round, but the legs aren't. The legs are like halved. Uh, the Brian's fold, it's it's super round. It's it's so crazy. Um, yeah, exactly. Like I could definitely fold the base, and I could shape it, kind of. But to achieve that level of shaping, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> or it would take me absolutely forever to get like eighty percent. You know, as good as Brian's fold. Um, but 
yeah, Brian is Brian's a cool person. In general and origami wise. And I think I get to see him again at this year's origami convention, which means uh, Bodo also gets to meet Brian. So that's pretty cool. Um, all right, we're finally getting to the phase where I can shape the legs in the correct position, um, which is going to make it a lot less awkward, <laughs> I think. No, I'm probably going to have to adjust the feet a little bit just because uh, at first I just want the thigh position and the feet are kind of all over the place. But as long as they can kind of group up and look like they're actually squeezing onto the web, that's 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 our goal. I should probably be using my, my blow dryer to blow dry this, but I feel like I just need to hold it here for a little bit longer to get it to set and then be okay. Oh, but we're chilling. Bodo, Brian, voice. Should do another three figure model like we did with Player and Chris. Uh, Chris is the other person. Chris is also going to be there. Um, Brandon will not be able to make it, unfortunately, but Chris will be there. And you may have guessed about an idea we've already been discussing. <laughs> um, we'll see. Uh, we don't have too much time, so we're going to see if we can do something like that. But. Uh, yeah, that should be that should be cool. It, ta it takes a lot of effort to to make that though. Um, last last year we sacrificed a lot of sleep to finish that. Um, speaking of which, speaking of which, I can totally flex it. Yeah, yeah, we. <laughs> I went and got the thing. There it is. I'm actually. I need to fix it up a little bit. The, like you can tell, the sword is really wobbly, and that's after traveling, and having not enough time to actually like glue it, or properly. And it is also, the proportions were kind of messed up in the design. Um, the design is really janky. Low key, it's cool, but it's janky. Um, so it's it's not, <laughs> it doesn't accommodate the best of stuff. But I'm gonna use some MC, and it hopefully will stiffen it um, and make everything safe for traveling back to New York. Because I'm gonna bring this to display with the Origami USA article. Um, I'll, I'll I'll grab that too. Let me. Of course, must must flex. No, I'm just kidding. But it's it's cool. Um, I'm excited. I think because um, we didn't display it at the convention last year. We only folded it, and basically, like on the last day when the exhibition was already taken down, is when we finished and took pictures of it and everything. Um, so there wasn't as much time for everyone there to see it. The only real convention that it's been to was the Orgomet, which was in boston at mit that's the one that uh plant or brandon uh hosted for the mit group which actually there was 180 people signed up that was a fairly large convention uh for for that so that was pretty cool all right the super late shaping stream of the three-in-one where it's pretty obviously yeah that one's the uh archived 
or the unarchived stream where I was like falling asleep on the stream, just rambling about who knows what. I barely remember what I was talking about. Um, I think I was just trying to recap the day and like <laughs> had no idea what I was saying. Um, fold that, but have a Brian Chan and Bodo folding different figures. True. I, I have a feeling that Brian probably won't want to fold something. Um, but like we just don't have enough time. We just kind of want to talk with people. Uh, probably same with Bodo, but we're going to maybe try something small. Nothing to this level. This, this folding level is, uh, this is crazy. So like, like Chris and plant fold and shape pretty fast compared to me, I'd say. And they go really hard. Um, I think, uh, me, me and Brian are way more relaxed. I think Bodo can fold pretty quickly too, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> I, I think yeah, me, me and Brian are, are a little bit slower. Oh, speaking of which, I didn't even realize I put a square twist in there. Do you see that, Mark? Do you see a square twist in there? That's, um, the square twist samurai hadn't been made yet. That came after this. Um, I didn't even, I forgot. <laughs> I didn't even realize there was a square twist in there. How did I, I thought it was just pleats. I guess I could see in the photo too, but for some reason, I, I just didn't remember I had the square twist in there. Interesting. Huh. Well, you learn, you learn something about your own thing every day. Figures, yeah. We'll we'll try to do something cool. Like, and if we don't fold anything, maybe we come up with a design that, like, it's hard to fold it at the convention, but at least we could maybe come up with the design and fold it later. But yeah, doing something like this where the three of us folded something crazy, like in one at the same time, this is pretty, this is hard to do in general. Um, and especially at the convention. Like you can see how long I'm taking on just this, right? And and this has like way more to do <laughs> with just this. So uh, let me, let me put it back. We'll, we'll stop flexing now. So you're doing Easter egg for the square to a server. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm probably going to do a live stream where I start doing some shaping like a shaping fix stream for that model. That'll probably be on Twitch though. I'm not sure if that's going to be a YouTube stream because um, the glue I used was not as good as the glue that I think Plant and Chris used. So like Chris's model is pretty secure. And I think most of Plant's is too, just not the legs. And then my model is really soft. So I got to fix a lot on there. Um, and I might fix... Like if, if there's anything I have to touch on Chris, it's probably just adjusting the leg a little bit, um, which MC can, can help soften and do, but yeah, that, that probably won't be a full YouTube stream because I don't think there's enough, enough content to do. And it's going to be a lot of like, I don't know, uh, but we'll see. We'll see if I look at it a little bit more and decide that maybe there's enough for a YouTube stream, we'll do that on YouTube. If not, it might just be a random Twitch stream at some point. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I'm wondering now if I should just do a one arm here and other arms. Actually, I don't know. It's kind of... Hmm. Not sure entirely. Um, we do need to thin the arms though. So I'm wondering if it's better to thin it at the shoulders or just thin the whole flat. I think we thin at the shoulders. I don't really want to fold it well, I guess we, we'd start with it folded in half. Just first keep it simple, but I don't want it to be flat like this. Um, in the final. That looks like it's reaching far enough because it needs to reach about here. And then the web needs to come in a little bit more. So I need to get a hinge around the abs. So right now it's just hinging at the hips. 
but I need his abs to squeeze in a little bit too. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wait for the hips to dry first and then fold in the abs. Um, and then, because I don't wanna put it at the sternum because that's just not where you bend, I think. Let me see, if you bend, right? If you, if you lean over, you lean kind of in your ab area. You don't lean here, right? This, this is a bone, so lean right here. I need it like here where it bends. And then obviously your thighs too, uh, but to have a nice like tucked position. Um, Wooly asks, why does it look like, why does it not look like the one in the picture? Okay, so the one in the picture is folded from my friend Mayu. Uh, this is probably the f one of the first versions of it folded. And that's just a reference photo for what we are folding. Now the goal of folding this is to kind of do your own pose. And the pose I chose is the Spider-Man pose. Uh, so something very different. So that's why we are not folding the same thing. It's the same base. So it's technically the same design, um, just approached very differently. So instead of the web, um, Mayu did the cape, right? Use that flat for the cape. So, so that's kind of why. <laughs> it's, it's definitely weird and different. Um, but that's the goal of this uh, challenge, at least for myself. That's probably the most diverse design ever made. Everyone has made a different character. Yeah, exactly. There's lit like literally everyone's approach is different. Um, like almost no one has the same, unless they didn't really shape it much. Like everyone else is very, very different. Just super cool. Um, all the various approaches, what they use the flaps for, um, what they use you know, what they use the super long legs for and the arms and, and whatnot. And even the face flaps, like, like, I don't, I don't know how to do with these flaps, but there's plenty of room for, for whatever. Um, actually, that's probably what I'm gonna have to think about starting soon is what do I do with these face flaps? Is it possible to get Spider-Man eyes? I don't think so, but, um, well, yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Um, um, hold on. Got me thinking now. Maybe, maybe we could squash one of these down for it. And use like <laughs> we could probably do eyes. Um, just kidding. We can we can probably do eyes. Um, they're not going to exactly be like Spider Man's, but hopefully they convey enough. I think if I make them angular enough and then make the center not too weird, because it has to squash fold, even though it's 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 got to be like a little bit three D to get that shape. I don't know. I'll have to play around with it a little bit. That's probably not going to happen in this stream. Uh, you know, so the fun thing is that me and Bodo never finished. Yeah, I was gonna, I was looking for reference, and I realized that it's like, oh, there's no post from your account or Bodo's account or like any photos in the your original designs uh, channel of your folds. <laughs> Jaden, I'm not gonna traumatize another viewer <laughs> for you. Thank you, Jaden. <laughs> Anyone who rewatches this stream, though, which somehow there is actually a fair amount of people that rewatch these for like at least 20 minutes. So they they might get traumatized there if they scroll through and, and watch a little bit. Um, you have a, yeah, have a half shaped one. That sounds sounds about right. I've got like a bunch of half shaped stuff like sitting. And then I designed a completely new design while this was sitting half shaped, you know. Um, What's the original goal of the photo model? Yeah, Sp Spider-Man. Spidey eyes would be tricky with this flaps. Full yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I'm capturing that vibe too. <laughs> I'm doing like whatever. Uh, we're just having fun. But that's cool that the intention of just, you know, fooling around and having fun resulted in so many other people fooling around and having fun too. Uh, although Mayu's looks like, super serious. Like that, that looks like a, you know, something you would display. Um, in like an entryway for some kind of, you know, staircase or something like that, some grand staircase. 
Uh, Mark. Oh, that's true. Now you have released your unfolds. <laughs> that's so funny. That's how you know they've been designing for a while if, if <laughs> someone else has folded it first. Right. Make the make the Spider-Man have the cloud stripe hair. True, true, true. You can just use these for all these spiky spikiness. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about how I do that. Cause if I fully squash this flat, it's gonna be really weird. But we might be able to mush enough maybe to and it's not really gonna be exactly Spider-Man, because already we didn't have the chest, but I just need to like do something. Um yeah, that was Mayu fooling around how, yeah, classic Mayu, right? <laughs> That's so funny. The difference between a person who does origami for fun versus serious folders. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's a serious folder, you know? So, uh, not, not me, not me, no way. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I am going to start wrapping up the stream. Um, I want just everything to set in a little bit more and then I'll do one more wave of a like MC and positioning and hands and stuff and uh, try to figure out these eyes off stream um, just with some test folds and stuff. But this is, I think we made enough progress that I'll finish on time. At least I have one more day to turn this in. Um, should be, should be enough time. And yeah, we'll catch a rest because it is starting to get late for me and I'm not sleeping, but I have other work to do. So we're going to wrap it up on origami for now. But that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I can't believe we hit 10K on stream. That was not planned, but it, it did happen. Where is, oh, not that, this, uh, that's the Spider-Man. Yeah, crazy. We made it to the um, five digits. Wild. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap up the stream there. Thank you, everyone, for coming along. Um, I did release a new model earlier today, which is kind of cool. It stands up on its own. Um, other news, the paper video part four will come out sometime next week. Uh, and that should be exciting. And after that is done, because we hit 10,000 subscribers, the tutorial for the square, not the square twist samurai, for the dragon plate armor assassin without the sword will begin its works in the making. That is probably going to take me like two months or three months to finish. Um, but at least it's going to be started. We'll do it in parts just like the two headed dragon tutorial, which also has completed. So go check that out if you haven't already. Um, and we have more content. I'll be doing some more shorts. I have some stuff already filmed. I just had to edit some fun ideas. Uh, hopefully you liked the meme one I released on Instagram. That was kind of funny. Um, and yeah, just thanks for watching and supporting. And I'll bring some spicy content for y'all to see and more live streams so we can just chat and relax and goof off and have fun right so that that's a lot of cool stuff in the works origami by boys competition is also happening and then i'll be on a small content break during the actual origami convention within like a three week span just because i'll be preparing fully for that um but that that's two months away so no worries we got a lot of stuff going on thank you everyone thank you vitamin s thanks you ho for stopping by um uh, it looks like Bodo didn't make it. Uh, maybe I should have pinged him a little earlier, but he might not be awake yet. Um, thank you, Drayden. Thank you, Mark, of course. And also thank you for that membership subscription earlier. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shang Nara. And thank you, Voli Voy. Uh, anyone else before I end? Uh, but yeah, if I missed anyone, thank you so much for watching. And have a good rest of your day slash night. I will see y'all in the next video um i told mark i did my outro right so i say i'll see you in the next video and then something like uh what is it um uh 
all, all this origami, all this origami got me going kamikaze. All this origami, all this origami got me going kamikaze. Da da da. 